Ruach Elohim, Ruach Elohim, Ruach Elohim, Shabala Sodavana. in the next one minute i like you to begin to pray seriously in the spirit go ahead and begin to generate energy in your spirit man in the name of Jesus, overcome us by the blood of the Lamb. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. The evil that comes when doors open, the evil that comes when mantles come, the evil that comes when increase comes. Someone pray. Hallelujah. I like you to begin to invoke the mercy of God across every aspect of your life that it seems the devil is taking advantage of. Oh, by the mercy of God, the Lord rebuke you. I call for the mercy of God. Someone go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Invoke the mercy of God. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, the precious blood. 
I bleed the blood, the blood, eternal saving blood. I don't have to cry. Ah. You have paid the price. Yes, I bleed the blood, I bleed the blood. sometimes this year and come and listen to this message again because the prophecy for open doors is not complete until there is a training to know how to become a person of stature you need the door to remain open for those behind you to come there are giants on every mountain that is why you are a warrior he said I have fought a good fight I have kept the race you are not only a runner when you are in the field dressed like an athlete but you are in the battleground don't wear athletic clothes you have to carry the regalia of a warrior you are both a warrior you are an athlete and you are a keeper hallelujah hear me for many of you under the sound of my voice here tonight and falling across the globe the Spirit of God is depending on your consistency for the liberty of many people. Any laxity in your pursuit will not only cost you alone. The realm of the Spirit taught you to be your grandfather. He started on a good note, but eventually laxity and frustration 
there was zeal but no accurate knowledge of the precepts of the spirit so he could not survive the viciousness then it came to your father some of them did their best as far as they could go now the baton has come upon you you may be young you may be the last but by no means the least the mantle is still on you god is counting on you right now will you be the one to end this cycle and start a new one he said are you the one or should we look for another are you the one who has come now are you the prophet we have been waiting for or should we look for another are you the apostle that our grandfather prophesied that a day will come in this city a young man will arise with fire and power are you the one or should we expect another who is yet to come are you the businessman that prophecy has come upon that you will be the one through your resources to liberate nations hear me the bible says there remaineth a rest for the people of god any day your faith selects is the day you make your rest it says let us therefore labor to enter that rest and the way we labor is found in jeremiah 6:16. 6, it says to stand in the way and then he says to see and ask for the old path wherein is a good way when you find it he said walk in it and for sure you will enter your sabbath please hear me as we prepare to round up tonight the spirit of the lord is speaking to someone i am still depending on you i am still depending on you i am still depending on you moses do not prolong prophecy by 30 more years because of the laxity in your training when the prophecy came to abraham it was 400 years match the prophecy with the speed of your training so that you do not add 30 more years and make god look like a liar if you are slow you will delay prophecy and time will be added and men will suffer you must be up and doing at a cutting edge to match up with what has said he said i daniel understood by books he opened the book to see where it was written that the captivity of israel in babylon would come and when he found the time he postured himself in fasting and prayer for 21 days until gabriel was sent from heaven to come and bring him word and while he was coming the prince of persia the spiritual wickedness that resides in the heavenlies he stopped him and he maintained in persistence an archangel michael he came and it prevailed not and he had now come he said i am come to give you understanding he gave him understanding and he knew the times that the captivity of god's people would come to an end In this season, we must master the art of reading the writings on the wall. You must have the eyes of the spirit that when you see things written on the wall, you must discern what the spirit is saying. The Bible says, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit saith. Is it not in your Bible that the spirit speaketh expressly? The spirit speaketh expressly. It says that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith and they shall give heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of demons but the most important thing is that the spirit speaketh expressly we must obtain grace that our eyes be washed with eyes salve, and that our ears be attuned to the frequency of the spirit to know what god is saying part time per season let us walk after the order of the sons of Issachar the Bible says they are men that had an understanding of the times and they knew what Israel ought to do as a result their brethren were at their command there are names there are titles there are legends and tales of strength but only a Shua will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. There are names, there are names, there are titles, there are legends and tales of strength.
I stand by this prophetic and apostolic mantle and I declare over your life in the name of the resurrected Christ who gave gifts to men that every door that has stood closed over you in the name of Jesus I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and I speak to that door Ephata be open Ephata be open Ephata be open in the name of Jesus it says and thou O Lord will teach my hands to war and my fingers to fight I decree and declare in the name of Jesus the strategy for victory that you have now received obtain it and last through your open doors last through your open doors last through your open doors no decline no retrogression in the name of Jesus Christ you hear me there are some of you that found certain treasures but they fell and they were missing the Bible says the kingdom is like a man who had treasure but one fell the first thing he did was to light a candle and the second thing he did was to get a broom and with the candle and the broom he started searching I know it is somewhere I don't know exactly but with the candle that has been lit and the broom he started sweeping the Bible says that is the character of the kingdom you never find things until by light and the assistance of the prophetic alas master for it was borrowed he said where fell it and he said here I want to speak to someone because you see let me tell you restoration resides within the office of the prophetic whether it is the wife of the Shunam a Shunammite woman having her son back to life or the axe head falling or restoration to Samaria it is by a prophet that the Lord brings the nation of Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet they are preserved he said I have spoken to you in similitude I have multiplied visions even by the prophets I decree and declare in the name that is above all names everything that has left you but not by God in the name that is above all names I declare with accuracy and precision let it return back to you let it return back to you opportunities graces let it return back to you by the power of the Holy Spirit hallelujah please hear me the Bible says everyone that knocks the door will open I told you when you knock it is because there is someone at the other side of the door and it is possible that he can be manipulated like the man who slept with his children to say you are my friend but it's too late I cannot open the door to give you what you want it takes the favor of God coming upon a man to compel people to bend over backwards for your sake and Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 says and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 be part and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her Psalms 44 and verse 3 they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their arms save them 44 and verse 3 it says but thou thy right hand it says because thou showed a favor towards them the favor of God is not about money the favor of God gives you access to the hearts of men the heaven even the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord but hear me the earth has he given to the sons of men if God says yes and men say no yes remains in the realm of the spirit it is the spirit and the bride that says come not the spirit alone the system of operation within the cosmos will take the partnership of the spirit and a willing bride if the spirit says Jesus come and Mary refuses to give her womb he would have to look for another person again she had to say be it unto me be it unto me Luke chapter 1 and verse 45 it says be it unto me blessed is she that believes he told her it says for there shall be a performance of the things that were spoken unto her from the Lord Mary on hearing that mandate she said be it unto me according to your word and that happened 
for many of you the spirit has been saying come the spirit has said increase the spirit has said open doors the spirit has said fresh mantles but the bride that will stand in partnership with the spirit to echo what is being said has not spoken i stand as one sent because the spirit has said come i also say come for you in the name of jesus because the spirit has said rise i prophesy rise because the spirit has said shine i prophesy shine because the spirit has said go forward i prophesy go forward because the spirit has said don't go down i prophesy you shall not go down in the name of jesus christ and i speak to you according to job job 5 he said god will deliver you from six things yes seven things one of it is the scourging tongues of men every tongue that rises up against you i call upon the god of jeshurun the one who rides upon the wings of the wind i decree and declare it falls in judgment in the name of jesus christ tomorrow when you stand in the television and people are watching you and saying busy this lady has risen this far you would turn and say household of david thank you because it was in that meeting god taught me that pain is not demonic it was in that meeting i learned you will never rise to a position of greatness with flesh being alive listen you don't have to be a sinner for flesh to be there you must crush it and trust god once you pamper the flesh it will destroy you i say it again once you pamper the flesh man of god once you pamper the flesh it will tear you into pieces you need to come before god there's nothing to be ashamed of lord i come before you help me i'm in household of david i'm anointed is true but lord i need help fast this my appetite for money i'm anointed but i can still if need be once my account is five hundred thousand, i'm already fidgeting once my account is fifty thousand, i can lie i can change my message to raise money it's a weakness it can be nailed tonight so that you will come out refined as gold listen tonight i want you to open up your tendencies and vulnerabilities before god and cry and say lord please work on it now so that it does not destroy me when a nation is looking up to me it is not when a generation now looks at you you represent an inspiration this is my prayer many times when i'm in the secret place i say lord please if there is anything in my life work on it i represent too much to a generation there are too many people who are waiting on my work with god to 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 ginger them what happens if all of these people just hear something tomorrow and they say this person that has inspired yes they will still love you but you have corrupted a track record someone looks god uses your face to encourage someone to continue rising spiritually there is a price don't ever pamper the flesh i'm not condemning you kill it right from the inception when that seed is sown lost pride immorality name it you don't like my the message i'm preaching this night please like it please like it in the name of jesus like it this is the secret to power and influence and grace more than you can imagine where your voice becomes like fire it looks like god owes you his presence you make one utterance and shift lives it's not magic it's not a gift it's a track record hallelujah we are going to pray tonight there's a lot to pray about there's a lot to pray if you don't have a prayer point from everything i've said you need to be born again there is a serious there is a call to a cry when we cry don't just wait for any usher to touch you because the ushers too are going to be crying and praying for their own lives are we together in a few minutes i'm going to be challenging us the instrumentalists will just just soak in the atmosphere just give us whatever it is and everybody here is going to find a place whether you are inside or outside we're going to say lord i come to you i've been waiting for a man to drum this truth i've known in my spirit that there is something wrong but thank god i've been waiting for a moment where someone will nail it on point thank you lord for anointing pastor shola to 
organize this meeting it's called a total experience we have other dimensions we are going to talk about but this is the foundation listen listen to me listen my brothers and my sisters i want you to hear me i speak to you this way because i love you there is no other way to be great in the kingdom there is no shortcut are we together in the next 10 minutes praise the lord i know that those outside there may not be a point of convenience even if you have to stand you have to find a corner somewhere those inside here you are just going to find a convenient corner while the worship team i mean the, the instrumentalists just just flow you are going to cry before god please lay your golden crown i'm a man of god congratulations but we're going to cry i will join you all of us together we're going to cry before god and say lord i can't lie again i you have to win this war tonight you have to win this war tonight go ahead find somewhere pray Your holy presence. Just pray. Forget about me. Living in me. You are my daily bread. You are my daily bread. Your very word spoken to me. For you, Shena Malana Mayana, and I am lost without you. I'm lost without you. your refiner's fire prune this habit in my life oh god i've been crying for 30 days i cry i cry of God but I cry for help I know that I'm a woman of God but I cry for help I know I'm a businessman I've placed other things above you the truth is I love money more than you the truth is I love power more than you the truth is I love titles more than you Alaba Rakatos Abraham Sanaka, the 
Let it die tonight. I've been given an excuse that is my background. That's how we are in our family. But tonight, oh God, I release myself. I give up the lust. I give up the anger. I give up the jealousy. Lord, this is for real. I'm not just being emotional. I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. Lord, what is it in my life that I cannot hand over to you? Tonight I hand over. Is it the car? Is it the house? Is it my reputation? Is it my salary? Lord, what have I exalted above you? Is it ministry? Is it anointing? Is it business? Is it fame? Is it my accomplishment? We're rounding up. Just a few more minutes and we're done. Feel me up, God. Feel me up, God. Feel me 
Thing in your life that is corrupting your Christian testimony I stand for the God of heaven and I pray for you this night I separate you from it forever yeah. pornography masturbation immorality pride jealousy flesh in the name of jesus i separate you from it i separate you from it i separate you from it listen if there is any appetite that is captured in your experience and is not of the christ you may have been tolerating it you may not like it but you have found out you are a slave to it I stand before the God of heaven and in the name that is above all names let the fire from heaven that separates separate you right now hear me please just help them I declare in the name that is above all names whatever has taken the place of God in your life it may be a good thing it may even be something God gave you but I'm stretching my hands now that fire as that fire comes upon you tomorrow we'll have time to pray for the sick 
but as that fire comes on you it must find someone tonight i declare that fire reorders everything in your life and keeps god in his rightful position hear me if there is anyone especially you are part of this spiritual family there is any association that you are part of that is strangling your christian life you love god but your friends don't love god and you you come and receive prophecies here but you go back and they rubbish your experience in the name of jesus in the name of jesus let there be a separation between you and those associations hallelujah listen there are many of you the grace to pray has gone you are not bad the grace just dried up you cannot consciously you don't love god enough to go for a retreat on your own church retreat yes departmental retreat yet but but that on your own you say i need god i pray for you whatever must happen to you tonight in the name of jesus the passion and it will infect you is like a cancer i declare may that hunger land upon your life now the holy spirit used to wake you 12 o'clock one o'clock and you will pray but something happened and all of a sudden his voice is not even clear i decree and declare in the mighty name of jesus the name that is above all names i shift you back to that realm where you hear his voice listen there are many of us i'm praying because your vulnerabilities are too much we have to pray some of you are unusually emotional it's not just biological it's demonic listen i want to pray for you it's demonic the devil plays it. anything just goes the self-restraint the capacity to say no is not there anything can happen let me just preach my old school message tonight that good old message that will prune everything until you carry the glory that excessive emotional you just say oh i think it's just it's just me it's just hormonal it's just no no If you allow your emotions they will tear you into pieces and ruin your christian experience the world that is looking at you and looking up to you will not hear the fact that you were emotional therefore in the name of jesus the grace the stability of mind of spirit of emotions that will help you preserve the testimony of god upon your life receive that grace right now receive that grace right now especially my adorable sisters dear sisters hear me that you are a woman does not mean that your emotions just go haywire and let the devil destroy you i declare the stability of deborah let it come upon you in the name of jesus christ let me give you a little assignment where you are back tomorrow i know that many the impartation and please don't miss tomorrow's meeting even if you are not a member of household of david uh, just make that sacrifice for tomorrow it's my last session it will be a waste to do an impartation and to pray and do all of these things this is what you need the assignment i'm giving you is please take at least 15 minutes when you go back home any 15 minutes before morning just take some time alone with god even if you are married just play for some 15 minutes and stay and trust god list out the things that must get out of your life and pray for that 15 minutes hold it as a request lord this must live lord this must live because the fire that is coming upon you is a fire that your generation will celebrate you for your wealth is in that fire your greatness is in that fire your glory is in that fire 
there is a prophetic word for this church but i will say it tomorrow there is something god has told me about house of david household of david but tomorrow i will say it i want to say it in the open and i want to say it on air a shifting i'm telling you is coming to this church it's true it will be so strange I, i'm not i don't want to give you the details but it will surprise you In the name of Jesus Christ. The gentleman on white, my friend, lift your hands. I'm seeing an angel pouring something like oil on your head. That's what I'm seeing. I stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus, whatever that is to do in your life, I declare let it be done now. I'm not ministering this night, but the gentleman holding a red phone, the Lord is saying I should tell you that you are going through a season of pruning with him. That but after that pruning, your glory will shine. Amen. That's what God is saying to tell you. Father, we thank you for tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are still praying. Genesis 21 verse 6. This will be someone's testimony tonight. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that here will laugh with me i'd like you to open your mouth and pray lord i step into a season of laughter in the name of jesus laughter means the war has come to an end laughter means the struggle has come to an end laughter means victory is established you do not laugh during the time of war you do not laugh during the time of travail no woman laughs while giving birth it is after the child comes that laughter follows someone pray oh god make me to laugh release my laughter in this season laughter meaning rest laughter meaning victory established laughter meaning testimonies made manifest is someone praying all that here will laugh with me all that see tonight will rejoice with me all that see my healing all that see my prophetic word all that see God locate me will laugh with me. Go ahead and pray. All that here will laugh with me. All that here will rejoice with me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Next prayer point. You have turned my mourning into dancing and my sorrow to joy. Watch this. If water can be turned to wine, it means pain can be turned to joy. If water can be turned to wine, it means unemployment can be turned to victory, even in terms of employment. The, 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 listen, the idea there is not just water turning to wine. The idea is the power that can make anything become what God says. Anything anything water turning to wine is only a sample it is to show you that nothing in itself must remain permanent it says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen visible now current are temporal that under a certain conditions the things that are seen can switch and be made manifest to something else say father one more time say father everything in my life that is not your will let it change tonight open your mouth and pray everything in my life everything in my life that does not look like you everything in my life that is inconsistent with your will for me everything in my life that is inconsistent with your blueprint someone pray let it change 
everything that is not you pray in your life your marriage your ministry the life of your children your career it must change tonight if water turned to wine pain can be turned to joy if water turned to wine defeat can be turned to victory Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look up, please. In the court of law, when a verdict is given and it is against you, and you feel that justice was not meted out, there is a dimension of the judiciary called the appeal court when you go to the appeal court you go with greater evidences and say in as much as it was a judge that made that declaration you still feel within your spirit that justice was not meted out are we together now even when god the judge sent a prophet to a man called hezekiah he said pack up your load he said, god almighty sent a genuine prophet to go and tell a man Put your house together, you will not recover. Ezekiah said, I respect you, prophet. You leave. He turned his face, knowing that the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. That in the character of God, mercy triumphs over judgment. Are we together? Say, Father, every judgment against my life, against my family, manifesting as a cause manifesting as negative patterns let the mercy of god overrun and overturn open your mouth and pray let mercy we appeal by the mercy of god that the ill speakings of darkness we appeal by the mercy of god that the ordinances of judgment be changed let it be overrun let it be overturned koinonia pray Mercy triumphs over judgment. Mercy that speaks death. Mercy that speaks defeat. Mercy over curses. Mercy over ill speakings. That even the lawful captives by the mercy of God will be set free tonight. In the name of Jesus hallelujah we're still praying once upon a time the Bible tells us that because the wickedness of men had reached the heavens that God was going to met out judgment upon the earth and there was such chaos and catastrophe the Bible says the heavens gave up their waters the earth gave up their waters every one of the then inhabitants died they perished in that flood except noah his wife the three sons and their wives but then the bible says the rain continued the flood continued but something happened when god was about to bring it to a stop i hope you know that it did not just stop because god wanted it to stop let me show you genesis 8 verse 1 hmm. 
And God remembered Noah. This is why the rain stopped. And God remembered Noah and every living thing. Watch this. And the cattle that was with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth. And the waters assuaged. Verse 2. He says, and the fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained not because it was time god remembered that there was still a man if this rain continues even the man i'm trying to preserve that evil will eventually destroy him there is a limit to which the ark can receive and preserve while it was rising god remembered for the sake of noah i have to stop this flood now you're going to pray there are certain evils that have prevailed but now that you have come you are going to say lord remember that i am your son remember that i am your daughter the bible said which of you whose son will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for fish and he will give him a serpent go ahead and pray lord remember not as though he has forgotten is a law in the spirit it brings him to consciousness of the fact that you need his mighty hand in your life go ahead and pray if you remember noah remember my family remember me go ahead and pray and the lord remembered noah and the lord remembered joshua selman and the Lord remembered Koinonia and the Lord remembered your business and the Lord remembered the sickness that is plaguing you hallelujah hallelujah when John the Apostle was recording the events that would follow the eschatological events that would follow he said that judgment will be meted out during the great tribulation and he said god himself had to put a restraint he says for the sake of the elect can i tell you no matter what kind of evil comes upon the earth there are men that move the heart of god and for their sake he will restrain it are we together now yeah evil cannot continue unhindered when there are saints in light which of you whose child will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for meat fish and will give him a serpent and god remembered noah and god remembered noah there are men who can forget and it is a terrible thing when people forget about you i have taught you here one man forgetting joseph added two years to his calamity hallelujah the king forgetting mordecai left him at the gate for only god knows how long but the bible says that night could not king ahazaroth sleep and he said bring me the chronicles we are still going to pray over this remembrance the memory of men can fail them, but the Spirit of God has an assignment to bring to remembrance. That includes your destiny helper. He can bring to remembrance that you said in January, this young girl should have gotten a job and it is within your power. What has stopped you from acting? Say, Father. Shout it. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let the book of remembrance be open concerning me go ahead and pray you're not wasting your time you are programming realities in the spirit through prayer let the book of remembrance be open outside pray all the overflows pray connecting online pray hallelujah praise the name of the lord amen there was a very interesting story in the bible is the story of the fig tree the bible says that it was not even yet time for figs and jesus was hungry and he saw a fig tree green very inviting and he went there hoping to get figs and the bible says not finding figs he cursed it and said no man eat of you again and by the next day when they came there, 
the bible says they saw that it had withered you're going to pray it is dangerous to not bear fruit john 15 and verse 8 herein is our father glorified when ye bear much fruit so shall you be my disciples john 15 16 you have not chosen me but i have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain fruit here talks of results it matters that you produce results can i tell you the world we live in will never place a demand upon your life until and unless you bear fruit you bear fruit in ministry you bear fruit in business you bear there are many fruitless christians they are born again they are saved but there is nothing about their life that makes them the desire of nations don't expect people to come and rally around you don't expect people to be used by god to support what you stand for if you do not bear fruit you are going to cry the spirit that is responsible listen 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 I've eaten a few fruits in my life and there are a few of them you can see the fruit looking wonderful especially fruits like garden egg and then you give it a bite only to find worms inside has that happened to you yeah. that you see a beauty it doesn't look bad doesn't look um, you know decayed looking very inviting and then you cut it and you find out that there is rot and something happening within immediately what was once a beauty and a delight will only be good for the dustbin you're going to pray everything fighting fruitfulness in my life in whatever manner i cause it tonight by the god of heaven go ahead and pray everything fighting fruitfulness in ministry fruitfulness in destiny fruitfulness in career i cause it by the spirit of the living god go ahead and pray Go ahead and pray. Shalika pas kebran de kebereka tosiata. hallelujah let me give us two more prayer points before we sit hallelujah praise the name of the Lord I know that you are used to receiving an impartation for speed but you are going to pray it hallelujah God can bring acceleration to a man's life and there are many ways he does that number one is by making all grace abound towards you all the resources that you need usually motion listen to me motion is impeded when the resources to make for speed is not there for instance if you are building and you do not have the money to complete it the building remains at the level of your last supply if it is 10 years it remains there but there are times that resources can come and you can build and finish in a moment are we together you are in ministry and there is bankruptcy of the grace that should produce results and bring increase and expansion always. If that grace is not there, the ministry will be pegged to reflect the last level of supply. You're going to pray that God will bring acceleration. Most of us here have vehicles and most of us drive. Hallelujah. When you drive, there usually are two components that your feet is responsible for maneuvering. One is called the brake. The other is called the accelerator when you leave your house and the moment the green light is clear for you especially when you are aware that you are late for a program or for an interview you make use of that provision in your car called an accelerator are we together and the accelerator helps you to catch up and sometimes so that you are able to beat time lord accelerate my life that is the prayer you are going to pray many of us you are not experiencing stagnation but you are too slow everything about your life is too slow lift your voice and cry to the god of heaven accelerate my life make sure you pray with understanding i can't waste my destiny accelerate my life oh god 
accelerate my life bring establishment to my life bring stability to my life accelerate 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 my life koinonia you are praying accelerate my life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Final prayer. Matthew 6, 7. But when you pray, it says use not vain repetition as the heathen for they think that they will be heard for their much speaking next verse be not therefore like unto them for your father knoweth what things you have need of even before you ask him but then he says when you pray pray in this manner go ahead our father which art in heaven hallowed be your name verse 10 thy kingdom come thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven now verse 11 shout it with all your heart give us this day one more time give us this day if God said this day may your lack of faith not make it this month may your lack of faith not make it next year listen he said give us this day our there is something called daily bread daily bread bread there does not just talk about what you make with flour it means the requisite provisions that make for your efficiency per day god is that meticulous he said you already said you he you call him father that means for every day of your life the moment you are waking up the angels are positioned they have been sent to make sure that all that is responsible for your efficiency is there but i can knock your door trying to give you a parcel and as a result of lack of discernment or you are not even in the house you may not receive it we are going to pray this prayer give it to us again verse 11 give me this day my daily bread lord by faith and with every sense of gratitude i cry give my family this day give my ministry this day open your mouth and pray you will marvel and wonder at what happens to you as a result of this prayer lord give me this day send me help from zion this day all that it takes for my efficiency Give me this day, not this month, not this year, not this decade, not this century. Give me this day. Give me this day. For in Jesus, God is here to do us mighty name, name I pray. That. In the name in of Jesus, Jesus Christ, matchless name we pray. I assure you that God will surpass your expectations tonight. In the name of Jesus. So as we submit ourselves to a few minutes of prayer, please don't be distracted. It is part of the service. Pray from the depth of your heart. Any distraction must be seen as an evil spirit trying to rob you of your portion tonight. Hallelujah. So you pray with fervency, you pray with all your heart. Lift your voice and say, Father. Father. Shout it again, say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus, yes. I decree and I declare yes. that everything you have for me, 
I receive tonight. Go ahead and begin to pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray with understanding. Pray with power, fire, passion. Shake parasko prande ge balaka to se fresia. Shada bega de balaka prakata baranda kasa prende ge de belegeta. Everything you have, the healing. Everything you have, the impartation, the open doors, direction, illumination. I receive tonight by your spirit. Someone pray. Seka paraka tos kalle prende ge bereke tos. Those following from across the globe, pray in the spirit that which God has in store for you, receive by faith. The Bible says, Now there remaineth a rest for the people of God. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. It says, let us labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. We labor in the spirit tonight to enter that rest in the name of Jesus Christ. That plane in the spirit, a portion for me, a portion for my destiny, a portion for my family. I step into it by faith. Someone is praying seriously. Someone is praying without destruction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says the word of God is quick and powerful. It's only his process and his dealings that is slow. His word is quick and powerful. That is our next prayer point. You're going to cry, Lord, do a quick walk. It didn't take you so long to create the heavens and the earth. Recreate my life tonight. Do a quick walk. Lift your voice and begin to cry. A quick walk. A quick walk. A quick walk. Shake up a rakatoska brande kebereketosia. Do a quick walk. Someone pray. Do a quick walk in my ministry. A quick walk in my life. A quick walk in my destiny. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Do a quick walk in the name of Jesus. Do a quick walk. A quick walk in my body. A quick walk in my finances. A quick walk over my job, over my family, over my marriage, over my children, over my health. Go ahead and pray. Do a quick walk by the Spirit of the living God. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. 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 We are still praying. Genesis 21 verse 6. This will be someone's testimony tonight. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that here will laugh with me. I'd like you to open your mouth and pray. Lord, I step into a season of laughter in the name of Jesus. Laughter means the war has come to an end. Laughter means the struggle has come to an end. Laughter means victory is established. 
you do not laugh during the time of war you do not laugh during the time of travail no woman laughs while giving birth it is after the child comes that laughter follows someone pray oh god make me to laugh release my laughter in this season laughter meaning rest laughter meaning victory established laughter meaning testimonies made manifest is someone praying all that hear will laugh with me all that see tonight will rejoice with me all that see my healing all that see my prophetic word all that see God locate me will laugh with me go ahead and pray all that here will laugh with me all that here will rejoice with me in the name of jesus christ in jesus name we pray next prayer point you have turned my morning into dancing and my sorrow to joy watch this if water can be turned to wine it means pain can be turned to joy if water can be turned to wine it means unemployment can be turned to victory even in terms of employment the 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 listen the idea there is not just water turning to wine the idea is the power that can make anything become what god says anything anything water turning to wine is only a sample it is to show you that nothing in itself must remain permanent it says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen visible now current are temporal that under a certain conditions the things that are seen can switch and be made manifest to something else say father one more time say father everything in my life that is not your will let it change tonight open your mouth and pray everything in my life everything in my life that does not look like you everything in my life that is inconsistent with your will for me everything in my life that is inconsistent with your blueprint someone pray let it change everything that is not you pray in your life your marriage your ministry the life of your children your career it must change tonight if water turned to wine pain can be turned to joy if water turned to wine defeat can be turned to victory hallelujah hallelujah look up please in the court of law when a verdict is given and it is against you and you feel that justice was not meted out there is a dimension of the judiciary called the appeal court when you go to the appeal court you go with greater evidences and say in as much as it was a judge that made that declaration you still feel within your spirit that justice was not meted out are we together now even when god the judge sent a prophet to a man called hezekiah he said pack up your load he said, god almighty sent a genuine prophet to go and tell a man put your house together you will not recover hezekiah said i respect you prophet you leave he turned his face knowing that the lord is gracious and compassionate slow to anger and rich in love 
that in the character of God, mercy triumphs over judgment. Are we together? Say, Father, every judgment against my life, against my family, manifesting as a cause, manifesting as negative patterns, let the mercy of God overrun and overturn. Open your mouth and pray. Let mercy, we appeal by the mercy of God that the ill speakings of darkness we appeal by the mercy of God that the ordinances of judgment be changed. Let it be overrun. Let it be overturned. Koinonia, pray. Mercy triumphs over judgment. Mercy that speaks death. Mercy that speaks defeat. Mercy over curses mercy over ill speakings that even the lawful captives by the mercy of god will be set free tonight In the name of Jesus hallelujah we're still praying once upon a time the Bible tells us that because the wickedness of men had reached the heavens that God was going to met out judgment upon the earth and there was such chaos and catastrophe the Bible says the heavens gave up their waters the earth gave up their waters every one of the then inhabitants died they perished in that flood except noah his wife the three sons and their wives but then the bible says the rain continued the flood continued but something happened when god was about to bring it to a stop i hope you know that it did not just stop because god wanted it to stop let me show you genesis 8 verse 1 hmm. and God remembered Noah this is why the rain stopped and God remembered Noah and every living thing watch this and the cattle that was with him in the ark and God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters assuaged verse 2 he says and the fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained not because it was time god remembered that there was still a man if this rain continues even the man i'm trying to preserve that evil will eventually destroy him there is a limit to which the ark can receive and preserve while it was rising god remembered for the sake of noah i have to stop this flood now you're going to pray there are certain evils that have prevailed but now that you have come you are going to say lord remember that i am your son remember that i am your daughter the bible says, which of you whose son will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for fish and he will give him a serpent go ahead and pray lord remember not as though he has forgotten is a law in the spirit it brings him to consciousness of the fact that you need his mighty hand in your life go ahead and pray if you remember Noah, remember my family remember me go ahead and pray 
and the Lord remembered Noah and the Lord remembered Joshua Selman and the Lord remembered Koinonia and the Lord remembered your business and the Lord remembered the sickness that is plaguing you hallelujah hallelujah when John the Apostle was recording the events that would follow the eschatological events that will follow he said that judgment will be meted out during the great tribulation and he said God himself had to put a restraint he says for the sake of the elect can I tell you no matter what kind of evil comes upon the earth there are men that move the heart of God and for their sake he will restrain it are we together now yeah. evil cannot continue unhindered when there are saints in light which of you whose child will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for meat fish and will give him a serpent and God remembered Noah and God remembered Noah there are men who can forget and it is a terrible thing when people forget about you I have taught you here one man forgetting Joseph added two years to his calamity hallelujah the king forgetting Mordecai left him at the gate for only God knows how long but the Bible says that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep and he said bring me the Chronicles we are still going to pray over this remembrance the memory of men can fail them but the Spirit of God has an assignment to bring to remembrance that includes your destiny helper he can bring to remembrance that you said in January this young girl should have gotten a job and it is within your power what has stopped you from acting say father shout it say father in the name of Jesus I decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open concerning me go ahead and pray you're not wasting your time you're programming realities in the spirit through prayer let the book of remembrance be open outside pray all the overflows pray connecting online pray hallelujah praise the name of the Lord amen there was a very interesting story in the Bible is the story of the fig tree the Bible says that it was not even yet time for figs and Jesus was hungry and he saw a fig tree green very inviting and he went there hoping to get figs and the Bible says not finding figs he cursed it and said no man eat of you again and by the next day when they came there the Bible says they saw that it had withered you're going to pray it is dangerous to not bear fruit John 15 and verse 8 herein is our father glorified when ye bear much fruit so shall you be my disciples John 15 16 you have not chosen me but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain fruit here talks of results it matters that you produce results can I tell you the world we live in will never place a demand upon your life until and unless you bear fruit you bear fruit in ministry you bear fruit in business you bear there are many fruitless Christians they are born again they are saved but there is nothing about their life that makes them the desire of nations don't expect people to come and rally around you don't expect people to be used by God to support what you stand for if you do not be a fruit you're going to cry the spirit that is responsible listen 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 I've eaten a few fruits in my life and there are a few of them you can see the fruit looking wonderful especially fruits like garden egg and then you give it a bite only to find worms inside has that happened to you that you see a beauty it doesn't look bad doesn't look um, you know decayed looking very inviting and then you cut it 
and you find out that there is rot and something happening within immediately what was once a beauty and a delight will only be good for the dustbin you are going to pray everything fighting fruitfulness in my life in whatever manner i cause it tonight by the god of heaven go ahead and pray everything fighting fruitfulness in ministry fruitfulness in destiny fruitfulness in career i cause it by the spirit of the living god go ahead and pray go ahead and pray Hallelujah. Let me give us two more prayer points before we sit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I know that you're used to receiving an impartation for speed, but you are going to pray it. Hallelujah. God can bring acceleration to a man's life. And there are many ways he does that. Number one is by making all grace abound towards you all the resources that you need usually motion listen to me motion is impeded when the resources to make for speed is not there for instance if you are building and you do not have the money to complete it the building remains at the level of your last supply if it is 10 years it remains there but there are times that resources can come and you can build and finish in a moment are we together you are in ministry and there is bankruptcy of the grace that should produce results and bring increase and expansion always. If that grace is not there, the ministry will be pegged to reflect the last level of supply. You're going to pray that God will bring acceleration. Most of us here have vehicles and most of us drive. Hallelujah. When you drive, there usually are two components that your feet is responsible for maneuvering. One is called the brake. The other is called the accelerator. When you leave your house and the moment the green light is clear for you, especially when you are aware that you are late for a program or for an interview, you make use of that provision in your car called an accelerator. Are we together? And the accelerator helps you to catch up and sometimes so that you are able to beat time. Lord, accelerate my life. That is the prayer you are going to pray. Many of us, you are not experiencing stagnation, but you are too slow. Everything about your life is too slow. Lift your voice and cry to the God of heaven. Accelerate my life. Make sure you pray with understanding. I can't waste my destiny. Accelerate my life, oh God. Accelerate my life. Bring establishment to my life. Bring stability to my life. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Hela kosa kreska bereka tosia tabarandas. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Koinonia, you are praying. Accelerate my life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Final prayer. Matthew 6, 7. But when you pray, it says, use not vain repetition as the heathen, for they think that they will be heard for their much speaking. Next verse. Be not therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things you have need of, even before you ask him. But then it says, when you pray, pray in this manner. 
Go ahead. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Verse 10. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Now, verse 11, shout it with all your heart. Give us this day. One more time. Give us this day. If God said this day, may your lack of faith not make it this month. May your lack of faith not make it next year. Listen. He said, give us this day, our, there is something called daily bread, daily bread. Bread there does not just talk about what you make with flour. It means the requisite provisions that make for your efficiency per day. God is that meticulous. He said, you already said you, he, you call him father. That means for every day of your life, the moment you are waking up, the angels are positioned. They have been sent to make sure that all that is responsible for your efficiency is there. But I can knock your door trying to give you a parcel and as a result of lack of discernment or you are not even in the house, you may not receive it. We are going to pray this prayer. Give it to us again. Verse 11, give me this day my daily bread. Lord, by faith and with every sense of gratitude, I cry. Give my family this day. Give my ministry this day. Open your mouth and pray. You will marvel and wonder at what happens to you as a result of this prayer. Lord, give me this day. Send me help from Zion this day. All that it takes for my efficiency. Give me this day, not this month, not this year, not this decade, not this century. Give me this day. mighty name I pray in Jesus I I want to thank Pastor Shola sincerely again for this privilege and this opportunity I want to thank the fathers of faith here um Pastor Chidume, God bless you and honor you, sir. Our daddy, God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. I also want to celebrate and truly honor every man and every woman of God here. Anytime you see a man of God who loves Jesus and serves him truly, they are deserving of your honor. It takes a lot to say yes. Yes means many no's no to many many things hallelujah while standing before we sit i want us to know that when we gather like this it is more than just gathering to honor the presence of a man hallelujah it is important for us to be intentional in our understanding that when the glory of god rests upon his people many things happen within the atmosphere of that glory principally the revelation of jesus but then in addition to healings miracles by the way where is the lady that had her child come please when you find her i don't know when you find her let her come hallelujah and then i want you to listen very carefully one of the greatest blessings of a prophetic and a miracle service like this as far as i am concerned that's all right if, if she's not if she's not um within um hallelujah 
okay when you find her please give her the allowance to come now please listen every time i have the privilege of ministering to god's people like this more than receiving the miracles my greatest my greatest assignment is to expose god's people to that atmosphere of his glory because when the glory comes there'll be no words to say oh, oh, oh. when your glory comes there'll be no words to say oh, oh, oh. the glory of god is a definition of his weightiness his entirety every component that makes him god his wisdom his power his favor when you expose people to the atmosphere of his glory they never live the same some of them will live with wisdom or heightened wisdom some of them will live with favor some of them will live with all kinds of miracles when the rod was placed in an atmosphere of that glory even though it didn't have root to the earth it bonded in 24 hours when the glory comes there'll be no words to say oh, oh, oh. when his glory comes there will be no words to say from the beginning of this conference many of you have endured making sacrifices from one speaker after another one vessel after another some of you may have been around for the past six years of the abm some of you a few of the years some of you this is your first night now let me tell you the possibilities that you receive in an atmosphere of god's glory does not depend on his love alone neither does it even depend on his will it depends on the sincerity of your hunger and your recognition for god can be in a place and you do not know covered by pride maybe covered by carelessness maybe are we together covered by all kinds of factors it takes admitting that when god comes in the midst of his people there is always something to see there is always something to get there is always something to receive among the many things that god does to his people is to grant them access to his glory moses said show me your glory and god did not reject the request that means he desires that his glory be seen we're going to pray for 10 minutes from my time hallelujah it's a miracle service we'll take some time to pray and there is prayer that is for edification there is prayer that is for warfare and supplication there is prayer that is for intercession it has many compartments as far as the administration of it is concerned but the prayer we are praying for the next 10 minutes is to enlarge our capacity in the spirit 10 minutes is not all the time you need but with respect to this atmosphere i did tell us in the morning it is a waste to pour anything from heaven upon a vessel that is closed or a vessel that is small these are the two conditions of vessels that make any investment on them a total waste a vessel that is closed no matter how large cannot receive a vessel that is small no matter how willing cannot receive more than his capacity hallelujah so i like you right where you are to begin to pray in the spirit i like you to see your ministry as you are praying stepping into another level i like you to see the mandate god has placed upon your life stepping into another level whether you are at the back whether you are in front it does not matter i like you to see your music ministry being part of the cutting edge tools that God will use in this end time. I like you to see the prophetic mandate that is upon your life that perhaps is at its infancy, found to flames, to dimensions where it can serve the purposes of God across nations. Someone is praying. 
Ali Sabat Salamakata Braska de Belegatuskata Shabraska de Belegatus Shabragata Balakatus de Belegatus Shimandaska Namalata Braska de Belegatus Asiata and Rakatush Kali Presta Belegatus Balakatus and Abraka Namaraduska. Shatabada <laughs> Please pray, just a few minutes in the spirit. I'd like you to see your bishopric as far as the end time program of God is concerned being secured and preserved by your passion and determination Seeing that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight, every sin and every weight, and then to run with perseverance the race that is set before us.
in the name of Jesus 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 now please listen before you sit down the Lord just opened my eyes to see something don't sing but as I raise the song please bring all the people out under the anointing God is doing something very very mighty you are glorious so glorious in your way you are powerful so powerful in your ways you are awesome so awesome in your ways just bring them out under the anointing you are powerful so powerful in your ways oh that's that our woman just a moment you are powerful so powerful in your ways there is a spirit of glory that is resting upon people your ministry and your life will not be the same not this night Yahweh, Yahweh, you are glorious, so glorious in your ways. Dear prophet of God, there is a clarion call upon your destiny. Yahweh, Yahweh. You are glorious, Shalabada Gata Fresca de Belegatos, Cabran de Cabaratos, Nadia Rabalada Balada. You are mighty, so mighty in your ways. There is an ignition of fire. You'll be seated shortly, but this is what God is doing, and this is the instruction He gave me. Young and old alike, it's an outpouring of the Spirit upon you. You are powerful so powerful in your ways you are powerful powerful so powerful in your ways oil is being poured upon the destinies of men not just their heads the destinies of men you are powerful please bring them out so powerful in your ways you are mighty, so mighty in your ways. You can be dangerous, so dangerous in your ways. You can be dangerous, so dangerous in your ways. Shall I get it? Oh. Oh, 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 Shalaka <laughs> I'm hearing the word selected and appointed for a time as this. There are people you have been selected by God. That unction is coming upon you right now. Selected for your families. Selected for your regions. Some you've seen it in dreams. Others in visions. What well, this is a night. 
here in Abelkuta, that mantle of your destiny is locating you. Bring them out. Hey, Shaneke Skariata, selected and appointed for a time as this, others for a generation, others the Josephs of the family. Young and old, male or female, the spirit of grace, selected and appointed. There are people, there are mantles upon you. You do not even know God is bringing you out by His Spirit. Hallelujah. Now, please hear me. Hear me. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people here. A spiritual season is coming to an end in your life, and another one is opening up. It's, it's a new level of grace and a new level of fire. For some, you are ministers of the gospel. God brought you here because Abatash Shadavata. There is a dimension of grace. Ministers of the gospel. I'm hearing this particularly for preachers. People who are ministers of the gospel. The mantle that has been looking for you. I direct it to you. I direct it to you. Male and female. Access that mantle. In the name of Jesus. Access that mantle. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. hallelujah hallelujah in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please listen when we call people out like this it is not just for show just to see people littered on the ground no there is something that god is doing I stretch my hands towards all those in front in the name of Jesus the levels in the spirit that you should enter for the sake of your destiny and your assignment we command vistas to be open now by apostolic authority I decree in the name of Jesus in the name that is above all names I call upon he who has the key of David may that new realm and dimension be open for you in the name of Jesus let it be open for you. Let it be open for you. In Jesus' name. Now hear me. Please. Please. As much as those who can go back to their seats in front, I want them to go because I want to make another call. Please sit down if you can. Please sit down if you can. Be very sensitive whether I saw so many people at the back. Doesn't matter which... You know whether you are at the the, um, the canopy or any other place i want you to be very sensitive i had a brief time of prayer there is another set of people i'm going to ask to come out those if, if they cannot stand up just leave them please don't force them now listen please one of the mantles that god is restoring in this conference i had a vision and it was the vision of the transfiguration and i saw moses and elijah there are two types of the prophetic the prophetic ministry that will be activated in this end time moses was a prophet elijah was a prophet but the administration of their offices were not the same are we together all of them were mandated to preserve the purposes of god in a generation elijah preserved from jezebel and ahab Moses preserved from Pharaoh and all of them required signs and wonders. It was a mantle and a rod that helped them to preserve the purposes of God. God 
is restoring an ancient prophetic heritage please hear me i'm speaking to you by the spirit many grandfathers some of you come from physical paternal families that carry the heritage of the prophetic but because you are dull of seeing and your ears do not hear they just told you a story that your grandfather was part of those who would visit these men at the campground and you have been having visions of these experiences one of the mandates tonight is to stir up particularly this prophetic dimension again we need it not just for show don't be afraid of the prophetic because of the little abuses here there is going to be a stirring a stirring of that prophetic mantle for some of you that mantle has been hovering around whole families and everybody has rejected it everybody has rejected it i pray that you are not the one to reject it tonight yeah. hallelujah now i'm going to pray the moment i make this call my apologies if if i don't have the time to teach it's a miracle service healing is something we can do in 10 minutes these are superior levels of spiritual activations that strengthen God's people and make the program of God efficient. For those people, I want you by the anointing to bring them out right now. There is a restoration of the prophetic. God wants to have these prophetic representations across families and regions. Hey, 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 hey. I stretch my hands right now upon everyone that has been assigned in God's program and prophetic schedule to carry this mantle whether you are aware or not at the count of three in the name that is above all names whether you are seated or standing may that mantle search you out right now i release that grace carry that mantle right now male and female bring them out preachers businessmen that mantle of the prophetic in the order of moses and elijah coming upon your life Please help that lady. Some of you have been faithful in certain seasons. God has subjected you through certain seasons and you have been faithful. Now a new order of grace, that prophetic, only the prophetic, that's what God is ministering to people on now. I stretch my hands yet again, from the back to the front. There may be someone, no one is seeing you, but the all-seeing eye of the God of Jeshurun, the one who rides upon the wings of the wind, may that grace find you right now. Please bring them out. May that grace find you right now. May that grace find you right now. David was in the wilderness and the anointing still found him. Holy, holy, blessed is he comes in the name of our God Holy Holy Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God Hosanna Hosanna Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Father, all of these prophetic graces you are staring. In the name of Jesus, I pray that they will go through the seasons of training faithfully 
and they will find their place in your prophetic program i activate those graces now i activate those graces now the seeing eye and the hearing ear i activate those graces now in the name of jesus christ i activate those graces now when joel stood in Acts, in when peter stood in Acts chapter 2 he said this is that which was prophesied by joel the prophet that in the last days i will pour out my spirit upon all flesh not some all flesh hallelujah The spirit of prayer and intercession as a mantle is coming on certain people right now. Father, I don't know where these people are, but in the name of Jesus, as touching your program, not only in Abel Kuta, not only in the Southwest, but even in partnership with what you are doing across the globe, may that mantle of prayer and prophetic intercession let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you let it rest upon you now not just young people even elderly people you will see mothers in their 50s 60s 70s traveling for hours by the energy of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of prayer and intercession is resting upon you right where you are. Because you need to build capacity for that which God is committing to your life and your destiny. My last prayer for this session, please listen carefully. I'm only ministering as the Spirit of God is ministering to me. There are many of you that are going to be delivered right now from the spirit of error. Please hear me. There is the spirit of error. The spirit of error only activate, is activated when it finds zeal. You can have zeal. But the spirit of error can lead a man into something that may seem to have a semblance of godliness. But you will later find that whether it's your prophetic pursuit, whether it's ministerial pursuit, there is a path, the Bible says, a way that seemeth right unto a man, unto a man of God, unto a prophet, unto an apostle. In the name of Jesus, any man any church any prayer group any platform that is under attack from the spirit of error i decree and declare right now in this crusade i command that spirit and that influence to live your destiny now <laughs> hallelujah listen the Bible says the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the last days some shall depart from the faith and shall give heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of demons. There are people today whose entire spiritual construct was founded on spirits of error. It does not mean the people are bad. You can have a vision. Many people's lives have been confused today because of spirits that carry a semblance of the Holy Spirit and give mandates and assignments. The more you are obedient to that mandate, the more it is misleading you and others. There is no righteousness and there is no green pasture in that kind of obedience. I'm praying again. False dreams, lying visions. Go and read it in the Bible. Peter thought he was under the influence of the Spirit of God. 
when he was trying to rebuke Jesus from dying and Jesus looked at him and said get thee behind me Satan for Peter Satan has desired to sift you like wheat he said but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not he says and when thou art converted strengthen your brethren there are many of you the prophetic inclinations you are delving into you may delve from a sincere heart but it's not being sponsored by the Spirit of God including a semblance of healing mantles there are people who have gone to fast and pray and came back with experiences that carry a semblance of spirituality but when we gauge them against the integrity of God's word we find it wanting on many counts again I'm praying the spirit of error that is creeping into your Bible study life creeping into your prayer life taking advantage of your zeal and hunger for God and for spiritual things I command that devil of error to leave you now for in Jesus mighty name we pray please be seated God bless you please be seated God bless you these are the kinds of meetings that make people and preserve the program of God for the next 10 20 30 years if Christ tarries let me charge our hearts tonight as I'm speaking the Holy Ghost is going to be giving people specific instructions about your own life and about your own ministry please make sure your ears are open to hear both as you are hearing this man of God speak in the midst of the things I'm saying the Spirit of God is also going to be speaking I wish I had a little fan around me I'm sweating up and down please if you can find a fan for me just to help encourage me while I'm here may God bless you even if it's from a distance don't don't um, please make sure that you don't take from that which is on our father's yes anywhere just something to help thank you sir but what happens to them now please let's let's hallelujah tonight I want to charge our hearts finally and then we'll pray you have received many things in the course of this conference thank you I think this is fine if this becomes too close it will affect the sound quality so that's fine you can return it back this is fine maybe you can replace that one there thank you thank you sir thank you so much hallelujah praise the name of the Lord who is Rebecca Rebecca I had the name Rebecca they call you Becky Rebecca Rebecca you are wearing you are wearing a headgear that is like um, baby pink Rebecca Rebecca is there someone like that No, let, please verify come what's your name no let them come up I'll, I'll just speak over your life where are you from my dear I want to pray for you I'm stretching my hands towards you yet the person the power of God is falling on is right in the crowd there please bring that person the power of God is coming on one of you I just saw oil coming on one of you now when that happens then I will speak over the rest but among you people the power of God is coming on one person right now in the name of Jesus Christ it's a new season 
and there is a deliverer that is arising i had that name rebecca every weakness in the name of jesus of the flesh that is not giving you room to access spiritual things i declare by the power of the holy spirit be set free right now what he says to one he says to all be set free right now be set free right now abiodun who is abiodun abiodun please don't come out carelessly just because let's make sure so we don't make this place rowdy abiodun not your father's name your name abiodun hallelujah now listen this is serious please hear me i saw light just leave god's servant pastor shola up and then it was just roaming around and it, it is looking for somebody with the same name your name is olu Shol. is it olu shola or something like is there some is, there, is that a name or is it olu or, or, or De shola or something like that i know there is shola in the name i saw that light just went up and like hovering around because there will be a replica of this kind of abel kuta believers meeting beginning from this year god is going to stand it will be in other parts of abel kuta believe me it may not be called abm but an anointing this night is coming on people with mandates you will go to regions and start putting together meetings like this that will start filing God's army for the next season. And I'm saying this because some of you, even as pastors, as a ministerial couple, that mandate will come upon you and God will say, I'm trusting you with my program for other regions that may not be able to make it in this meeting. My goodness, all these gentlemen. What's your name, sir? Olushola. What do you do, this gentleman? Fashion you, designer. Fashion, huh? de fashion designer. You are a fashion designer. Yes, sir. Because I am seeing the grace that was on Stephen, that he started with serving tables, but he ended up being a mighty person. You may be a fashion designer, but what?
unable to rise to fulfill their prophetic potential when you find that person please let me know but let me pray for these ones father in the name of jesus i pray for these people who have come out here by the power that raised christ from the dead everything that represents a limitation over your life and destiny i command that it gives way now i command that it gives way now in the name of jesus for someone you had a dream and in that dream you were instructed to fast for three days and you have dishonored that dream there is a revelation that is connected to that spiritual exercise you see when god speaks it's important to obtain grace to obey are we together now this is what god is revealing to me three days to separate yourself bishop oedeko said it was during three days he was fasting and praying and light from scripture entered into him and a revelation came that set the ministry up who is that person you are the gentleman fasting you believe in god so let me i'm going to pray for you for grace hallelujah i hope you know that gluttony is a spirit it's not just a habit there is a spirit that even if when you are not fasting you can stay till seven o'clock and not remember you have eaten but the moment you declare fasting please don't come out randomly by eight o'clock even if it's even if it's um uh, what do they call it tom tom your spirit will not rest you want to open that tom tom and put it in your mouth it's not about quenching hunger it's a demonic spirit the ability to tame your appetite for food is an expression of your ability to tame many other things because food is the most obvious that you can see are we together let's honor our fathers let's honor <clears throat> hallelujah for this gentleman in the name of jesus i pray that the hand of god will come upon you my friend i want you to obey god eh? obey god if god has told you and given you that instruction then obey him that grace comes upon you in the name of jesus and for all of you abiodun i command the limitations over your life let it drop from this night in the mighty name of jesus god bless you please return to your seat where are these mothers all of you help them please god bless you sir now listen i hope you see what god is doing in this place these are mothers who are standing in for their children it's not enough to succeed according to succeed as a person until the person who comes out of you The man who would be used by God to defeat the Gideon, the, the, the Midianites, he was hiding in fear, the least of the father's house. In the name of God, for your children, and we use them as points of contact. Whatever has made you cry in your lifetime, before you see the face of God, I'm using them as a point of contact to pray for any parent here. Please listen. You don't have to kneel, Mama. Please just stand except if you want to but in the name of jesus christ any parent here who has a child that has brought you pain brought you trouble you are sitting peacefully they call you from a police station and say your child is at it again it is any child you see who is misbehaving just believe me there is a prophetic destiny on that child there is something that makes satan to zoom his attention there and if you don't have a child that is grown to that extent don't say it does not matter don't wait till it happens send a prayer cover to preserve them and say my child will not be the reason for my death in the name of jesus lift your voice in one minute and let's pray father we decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit they sang the song here that our generation will praise your name he said my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my saying do not let them depart from your heart keep them in the midst of your heart he said your mouth keep them in the midst of your heart he said they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh let's pray for our children 
let the spirit of responsibility come upon the young men and the young ladies let the spirit of laziness and entitlement you are my hiding place you always fill my heart with songs of deliverance whenever i am afraid i will trust in you hallelujah hallelujah in the name of jesus christ my mother lord has visited all of you you will return with your testimonies in jesus name i don't know why god has chosen to go this direction but please let's work with humility and honor him i'm hearing in my spirit that we should pray for all the schools including secondary schools there is an intentional plot by satan please hear me everyone destroying nations today was once a baby he was once a child satan grew with a generation today that is vocally and institutionally rejecting god we have to change that narrative don't be tired though it's a miracle service those of you who own schools the only thing you are, you are, that you should be looking for should not be increment in school fees and technical knowledge for god's sake restore the values of the kingdom this is not about fanatism hallelujah you go to some of our schools you will be shocked to tears to know what some of these children know hallelujah they will watch you as an adult and be looking at your ignorance even in adulthood because they have been exposed to evil in the fullness of his strength and some of them have the destinies of deliverers in one minute if you love abel kuta and you love your children and your program i want you to cry to the god of heaven visit our schools from the primary schools to the secondary school someone is praying someone is praying Pray for every teacher, pray for every proprietor, proprietress, director. This is where the ministry of intercession comes. Lord, we will not lose our children. There is a generation that is rising to be greater than us greater in power greater in revelation greater in character greater in encounters the devil will not destroy them in the name of jesus in the name of jesus and hear me by this mandate for someone you are sitting and god is saying you had the man of god it's time for your school to come on board because there are children who have been apportioned connected to your grace apostle where will i get the money from the one you got now where did it come from it's the same lord that shows mercy if you are waiting for things to be in place you will never do anything worthwhile for the kingdom hallelujah please be seated where is the woman who received the miracle let's celebrate what god has done look at this 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 how long sir four years sir you were here in abel kuta believers yeah. abm last year yes yeah you called us out in prophecy that there is a woman here she's been waiting upon the lord for four years and when we came out you told my wife that i'm seeing your husband standing beside you and after then you called me how to you're saying hold, yes you can remember oh hold your wife i want to ah, pray daddy can also remember hold your wife, i want to pray with you and you prayed with us and after november i waited and december came god led us here again to come and have three days yes. fasting and prayer uh, to receive the word because there is no christianity without responsibility that's right so we came here and god opened us up in three days god told me to make a sacrifice i did and god showed me the book of samuel first samuel the story of anna yes. and god told me that the prophet has played his part that is 
what Samuel did. He said, your wife has played his part. You both will play your part. And the last thing that God told me was that, and the Lord remembered Anna. And we pray for that all through. And those four things fired into my spirit. And we pray for those four things. You play your role, we play our role, and God played his role. To God alone be all the glory. Hallelujah. Look at this. Listen, listen. Do you know why I decided to ask them to come out? There is something that happens to you when the word becomes flesh. It's one thing to hear. The Bible says in Acts chapter 8, it says, verse 5, that Philip went down to Samaria and there he preached Christ unto them. Then the next verse says, the people in one accord, they gave heed to the things that he spake, seeing hearing and seeing the miracles which he did hearing and seeing look at this everyone trusting god for the fruit of the womb come out mama please come up here if you are not married go back please except if you are standing for someone if you are trusting god we are res we are responsible people so let me say it up front this, this world today needs clarification over everything. You have to keep explaining and explaining. Let's celebrate them as they come. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do? Creator of say. What can you do? Hold on. Why are these many people coming out? For yourselves? For your loved ones? Okay, this is what will happen. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on, please. I'm going, if you are coming out for any other person, just wait where you are. You don't have to come out. If not, we'll crowd this place. Remember, we need to finish on time. Hallelujah. Now, here's what will happen. I decree and declare that God will give you your own testimony. But now, may I request those who are standing for themselves, please remain. And then for the rest, go back rejoicing. Please, please, let's just obey instructions as God will grant us grace. You can't receive in disobedience in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are standing for someone, don't worry, just go back and trust God for a miracle. Remember the centurion, he said, you don't need to come to my house, speak the word only. This one is because God has instructed. Now, let me tell you the truth. Please hear me. By the privilege of God's grace, I've had the honor of living in the reality of these kinds of miracles in the lives of people across the globe and I say this with humility I can tell you the truth I understand something small about the miracle of fruitfulness I may not know everything but there are some things that I understand I'm going to pray for you and I want you to believe God and open up your heart I'm joining my faith with every man of God that corporate grace were agreeing as the vessels of God that everything that has brought reproach to you hallelujah here is the word that I want to declare unto you Genesis 21 verse 1 the Bible says and God visited Sarah as he had said and God did unto Sarah as he has commanded in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands right now the spirit i want to rebuke the spirit first mama just be patient i'm going to bless this our beautiful baby in the name of jesus christ right now every spirit that is responsible for barrenness responsible for any kind of demonic thing i stand as one sent and in the company of men and women of god go now go now womb that has been closed in the name of Jesus we command that womb to be open now 
regardless what the medical situation is madam the power of god is coming on you in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree by this time next year may the lord honor you with this same testimony for some of you for the years you have waited it's not only one child you will have may god give you twins and even triplets help her please twins and triplets in the name of jesus christ help them please and i decree and declare every covenant that binds you with unfruitfulness because the bible says having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete i stand by the authority and integrity of the word and i decree and declare over you in the name of jesus for the bible declares that even the lawful captive shall be delivered i decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant that speaketh better things than the blood of abel be released from prohibitions that come from ancestry be released from prohibitions that come from bloodline ill speakings of men in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ praise the name of the lord we declare that it is done in jesus name please return to your seats rejoicing What's, her What's his name? Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, watch this. This right here is not just about a child. It's about the God who can make what he says come to pass. Are we together now? Stretch your hands towards this giant in the spirit help us under the anointing please stretch your hands and declare nathaniel we decree and declare the name of jesus that this child is a proper child in the presence of the family we declare empowerment by the spirit this boy will be like samuel in the name of jesus christ that from a tender age you will hear the voice of god revealing the blueprint of his destiny Nathaniel, we pray for you. You will not be raised by a widower. You will not be raised by a widow. And you will not be raised an orphan. You will never have to do anything twice to succeed. The resources to raise you in the fear of God, we release it right now. Is this the only child? In the name of Jesus, you have celebrated him for this. Go and prepare for the next one. The same way you've stood before God's people, when it is time for the next one, let nothing stop it. I don't care what the situation is. The prophetic word that brought one, in the name of Jesus, will bring as many as you desire in jesus name we pray Amen. let's celebrate them as they go back Amen. hallelujah i'm about to pray for the sick please give me acts chapter 2 from verse 42 i just want to charge our hearts i've had the honor and the privilege of teaching about the apostolic structure of the revival that is coming across the nations especially in Africa helping to strengthen the body of Christ to understand that there is a posture that we must take as far as preserving congratulations you have seen the glory of God Congratulations. Hallelujah. I will tell you why I raised that song. It's not just that I'm raising it just like that. 
listen very carefully i will tell you why i raised that song when the lord turned again the captivity hold on whose captivity why should zion be in captivity the, there is something called the captivity of zion you are god zion but sadly even in heaven there was war the bible says when the lord turned the captivity of zion that was the scripture that was in my spirit when i raised that song because there are some of you based on what you are doing for god some things should not be happening in your life but you have carried certain scars even for the name of the lord it is for these people that god is raising this song listen very carefully some of you are men of god with integrity you have rejected every room for compromise but your decision has happened at a cost it has affected even your potential for influence it has affected so many things and sometimes that human factor in you will say god but look at me remember what happened to abraham a great man valiant with so many things by this song god is saying the remaining part of your life that is yet to experience the glory of god because there are people who have experienced certain things like naaman the bible says he was the captain of the syrian army he was a man who was valiant in war but that leprosy was there the song i'm singing is not for the areas you have seen result it is for that one area those two areas it is true that you are being used mightily but there is a sickness that they diagnose within you and it looks like how am i going to walk this song is for you congratulations you've seen the glory of god congratulations he has done it for me and you will come back with a new song to sing Congratulations Hallelujah I hope you know that when God visits people It's not only their spiritual lives that are affected God is benevolent If you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children How much more will your heavenly father he says who is it that you would ask for a fish and he will give you a serpent or you ask for bread and he will give you a stone god is that meticulous to see your holistic development that your life becomes a capture and expression of every possibility that can be found in the christ so spiritually he sees that you do well but let me tell you the god that we preach is not the god that ignores other areas of your life just focusing on your spiritual growth no he lays emphasis on your spiritual development but he's kind enough to stretch to every part of your life including numbering the strand of your hair because sincerely speaking for some of you you came for this miracle service your problem is not spiritual lukewarmness your problem is money period you are in trouble right now financially am i lying there's nothing to lie about i mean let's not make a fool of ourselves there are times that you need listen there are times that you need god to help you to water your farm so that it will grow your corn properly but there are times you need bread immediately because you will not even live to survive when harvest will come god can give seed and he can give bread he's the same god hallelujah there are men of god whose challenge is not integrity god has helped them but their challenge is to be able to get a conducive place where god's people can worship my god is able to sort out the issues that make for life and for godliness and let me stand again upon the grace of every man of god here and to declare over someone in the name of jesus this year's edition of this Abel Kutas Believers Meeting will capture the entirety of your blessing. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you're a prayer warrior that is broke, you will love God, but your pain will lead you to compromise. 
if you are a believer that has money and you don't have your integrity and your work with God, the pride and complacency and the attacks that come by reason of not having a strong spiritual foundation will frustrate everything again. I am an advocate of the whole counsel of God, the holistic growth and development of the saints in order of priority your spiritual life, but it should extend to every other area of your life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Acts chapter 2 and verse 42. The Bible says, and they continued steadfastly. You want to understand the entire book, you have to read the first 41 verses. Acts chapter 2 starts by saying, now when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were gathered together in one accord. Remember the Pentecost experience and then um, as a result, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. The men came and doubted that they were drunk with new wine. And Paul began to speak. In fact, let me do a one or two minutes recap of my teaching in the morning. We took from Matthew chapter 16. And the Holy Spirit began to guide us to understand that Jesus said this rock upon this rock. And I did tell you that that rock is revelation. Number one, revelation of the builder. Who is Christ himself because that was the beginning of the discourse who do men say that I the son of man is and then number two the revelation of the modus operandi of the kingdom the revelation that for you to make progress and advance in the kingdom to be formidable such that you are immune from the rich and the victory of the gates of hell it must be a combination of your press for light and illumination and the grace to walk in obedience jesus was teaching about building on the rock and he said he that heareth my sayings and doeth them he is like one who builds on a rock the one who builds on sand is he that heareth but then does not obey and he says for both of them there are three elements that will come to test the stability of their structure number one is the rain number two is the flood number three is the wind it came upon the one who built on a rock and it came upon the one who built on sand the difference is that the one who built on the rock stood are we together now so when jesus said upon this rock he was not just talking of himself alone thou art peter and upon this rock upon this revelation upon this template i will build my church what is the template that number one the church will only make progress their progress as a church and the formidability of the church to ward off the effect and the victory of the gates of hell will be founded on number one their revelation of me as the builder the christ the messiah he called it hallelujah and then number two that for every dimension of authority you are going to get an access in the spirit there is a light component that empowers that revelation remember we discussed revelation chapter 5 i wept for no man was worthy to open the book and unlock the scrolls and the elder tapped me and he said weep not for the lion of the tribe of judah the root of david has prevailed deserving to open the book and unlock the scroll he said i looked towards the throne and i saw the lamb as though it had been slain having seven eyes i told you these are the seven major levels or realms of revelation that every believer must access and connecting every eye was a horn which is a symbol of authority authority in the kingdom is light dependent the dimension of revelation you access if you access it in truth has a corresponding level of spiritual authority that matches that so when you claim to have authority at level four say and yet the light level spiritual illumination is level two you only have authority at level two jesus demonstrated all seven levels of revelation and all seven levels of authority the highest level of authority that the believer can command is the authority that comes through sacrifice that was why even while Jesus was on earth, he was not walking in all seven levels. Is the reason why he could raise the dead, but he could not give anyone eternal life. There was no one who Jesus gave eternal life before he died and rose again. Everybody he rose from the dead died again.
everybody he healed probably went through the natural depreciation of age until they died but when jesus rose again there was something he had in his resurrection that he did not have in his earth work he could give them eternal life and he empowered the disciples he said now go there were many times he told them go but this time around it was not just to go and preach the kingdom he gave them authority not only to forgive sins he gave them authority to impart life even life eternal by the spirit through the preaching of the word of faith according to romans 10 from verse 8 to 13. so acts 2 42 the bible says they continued steadfastly please listen carefully the first word i want us to examine tonight very quickly is the word continue continue demands stamina continue demands endurance beyond the limitations that emotions bring it is very easy to start but continuation of anything is proof of the determination to remain there he says they continued steadfastly in the apostles doctrine the same way many of you have continued in this conference right from the beginning of the week morning afternoon evening many of you have endured through hunger through the sun through the rain this is what you are doing they continued sound doctrine requires endurance not just attentiveness are we together now it says they continued steadfastly number one in the apostles doctrine number two in fellowship number three in the breaking of bread and number four in prayers you would see the effect of that as god multiplied and added daily as many as should be saved please watch this this is the apostolic template that was given to us by those who were mentored by jesus firsthand this is how they grew the church and they built the church these four components must be jealously guarded and preserved even as we look forward to this glorious move of god that is already upon us as a nation as a continent and even within this dispensation many people pray for revival we cry for revival but we do not prepare for it the sons of Issachar, the bible says they had an understanding of the time and they knew what israel ought to do the bible is full of people who did not expect visitations but the visitations came and when it left it left them barren of any experience an example was jacob in genesis 28 the bible says he came to a place called Luz, where his father had had a covenant there and he put a stone there to sleep in genesis 28 the bible says he saw a ladder that was ascending to the heavens is that in your bible and angels ascending and descending he got up and said surely the lord was in this place and i knew not he said this is the gate of heaven he was not discerning to receive there was no record of any transformation that happened to him by reason of that encounter the next time this encounter would happen will be chapter 32 having spent a total of over 20 years in the house of labor he dismissed his wives he dismissed his cattle the bible says when he was alone a man now came to him and he held him he said leave me for the day breaketh he said i will not let you go now he was intentional he remained with him and he said what is your name he said jacob he said thou shalt no longer be called jacob for as a prince you have had power with god and you have prevailed and the bible says he touched the hollow of his thigh and blessed him the sun arose he called the name of the place penny air he says for i have seen god face to face and my life is preserved the bible is full of men and women who had encounters some were changed by it some were not changed by it some were spectators and witnesses for instance in one of the synoptic accounts when jesus was having the experience of the transfiguration he was praying are we together now the bible says a, a cloud came and filled the place and then the disciples saw moses and elijah instead of them to be thinking of how to be changed by that experience they said it's good that we're here let's get blankets quickly because evening will come moses will want to sleep elijah will... you can see the response to a deep spiritual experience they were responding in a carnal way they saw moses and elijah they were representing spiritual realities 
but because they were bankrupt of the hearing eyes the the hear, the seeing eyes and the hearing ears they didn't know how to respond to that spiritual experience they were thinking of blankets to sleep so it's possible that you can have a spectacular move of god and your response to it is not to be opened and be changed you want to snap the moment and as wonderful as that is just to prefer to pre, to to preserve the history of the moment and not to be changed by it let me tell you this abel kuta we have said it time and again it is true that the move of god is coming upon nigeria like never before you go across the nations of africa and you begin to see a palpable formation of that move many of your fathers before they transited in glory they saw these days and they wrote it some of you come as physical descent from those that lineage many of them prophesied about the move of god many people who were not even africans they died and they left volumes of visions that they saw there has to be a generation that will leave the pages of those prophecies and by god's predetermined counsel it has pleased him that we become the generation that will herald that move of jesus even before he returns but i tell you this celebrating the arrival of an imminent revival will not preserve it we must be able to prepare number one listening to the spirit to learn the patterns and the apostolic structure and formation that must be in place number two we must respectfully look into the past because the thing that is is the thing that was the secret of the future is still in yesterday yesterday traps the secret of tomorrow we need to study what happened with apostle babalola we need to ha study what happened with where did they miss it where did they get it not for the purpose of condemnation but the things that are written aforetime the bible says they are for our learning that we through the patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope where did this man miss it and i want to just buttress on this because you see i've studied a bit about the revival the move of god across africa across continents but particularly our dear nation nigeria and the move of god that came especially around the 60s the 70s into the 80s there were two major problems that that move suffered i want you to listen carefully number one was that there was a spiritual divide of two groups of people number one there were those who were sound and their emphasis was on doctrine are we together now their emphasis was on doctrine and then there was another side by the reason of maybe their op the opportunity that they didn't have the opportunity to be as literate and educated they had direct prophetic encounters through prayer consecration and fasting and they received so many things they were open to the portals of the spirit in an unusual way and because of the power of their encounters and the corresponding results that happened they did not pay attention to the place of doctrine so there were two divides in this revival and let me tell you sincerely that formation that started as an imbalance still has an effect on the body of christ today this is my final assignment and then we'll pray for the miracle even if we don't have the opportunity to take testimonies that's fine i need to be able to do this there is an apostolic structure that is able to host the move of god and to preserve it now across the body of christ in nigeria and even in africa and I'm, you know my love and my respect and my honor for the body so when i speak i speak as one who is part of the system but i also speak as one who has been granted mercy and the privilege of god's grace there is this twofold formation right now resuming again within the body of christ on one hand there are people who are largely inclined towards the prophetic and spiritual activities through the activity of prayer and fasting and they have access dimensions and all kinds of things prophetic acts that have come i can subject myself to 30 days prayer and fasting and in it i will see myself holding a handkerchief and wiping it on a woman's stomach and she's barren 
I mean, the barrenness goes away. I can return back with that revelation to execute it as I saw it is dangerous because I must leverage on the side of doctrine to now be able to put it in perspective. The danger is if I ignore doctrine and I bring that it may work because it was from God, but the next person who did not have that encounter but have access to the physical expressions of that encounter, the devil, why was the devil looking for the body of Moses? to put a familiar spirit in that body and use the credibility that that body carried to mislead people is someone learning now so it looks like there is a divide in the body of Christ and what I'm saying is a bit touchy but please listen with an open heart usually people who are educated exposed and enlightened and I've had a lot of influences from the West for some strange reason they seem to be strong on the place of doctrine and the Word of God and that is profitable but many times our stay on the Word of God just focuses on principles and strategies and even philosophies and we ignore the spirituality of life are we together so most people will stay with the word and they laugh at those praying they laugh at those fasting to mean it's only uneducated people who are in the villages who are just prophetic people the more you are enlightened your enlightenment should show by your passion for doctrine alone this is wrong that already is going to produce a serious disaster in the body of christ then on the other hand there are people who will not be able to explain anything as far as doctrine is concerned. You cannot even come to them and be saved. But you just tell them, what is your problem? And they'll say, give me three days. They will go and lock themselves and pray for three days and have a vision. Be taken to the back of your house and come back and say, I found the answer. I was at the back of your house and at the back of your house, I saw a stone somewhere. Go and destroy that stone. And in two days, God opens up doors the mistake we are making is that this dichotomy was created by the devil listen carefully the dichotomy was created by the devil either through our pride and our, our refusal to see the value of both dimensions so we have people being mentored and raised by people with an emphasis up to the prophetic visions experiences prophetic acts someone will suddenly appear in church on sunday morning and tell you i've come with something and he may not be lying i'm not talking about false prophets no but then another person will say forget all this nonsense we're talking about you just stay on the word of god and you find people who are learning scriptures but no results no power no grace they can keep quoting it sincerely in the name of jesus christ i won't be sick the headache is adding in the name of jesus nothing is wrong with me and you are worse it did last year than it was and I'm, I'm not i'm not being sarcastic i hope you understand i apologize to you already in advance trust me i'm a good pilot we're going to balance this now it has become a thing of war you have to choose what camp you belong to so you have to choose the camp of word people you can pray for five minutes and say the most important thing is the word of god in you that may not be wrong but we need to be careful we're making a serious mistake and another person can say forget all that nonsense you just pray and fast and see what happens and they pray and fast empty of the word and a familiar spirit appears to them and they say speak lord for your servant is listening and misleads them introducing another confusion that is advocated with confidence because it came from an encounter are we together now yes. they continued steadfastly please give out that scripture four things number one doctrine these are the elements that sponsor an authentic move of God. Honor to doctrine comes from the Latin word doctrina. It means a set of beliefs. Now, reference from scripture that is able to build a disciple holistically. They continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. Meaning the instructions that were committed to them because they themselves had 
they testified that it was handed over to them it was not just an opinion are we together that all scripture was given by the inspiration of the holy spirit profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction in righteousness that the man of god may be entire complete a generation that does not have an appreciation for doctrine is a generation that will mismanage their spiritual experiences because doctrine defines the coordinates of your spiritual experience if you are open to the realm of the spirit and you have prophetic encounters that come by opening up your spirit you will need the stability of the word to give definition to your experiences to that is the tool you are going to use to vet whether it was sponsored by the devil or sponsored by God because Satan can appear as an angel of light are we together pastors and leaders we must no matter what kind of call God has given us we must be able to guide a people to have profound respect for doctrine now please look up there is a place you may have heard me teach there is a place for sharing your experiences and i call them personalized dealings but you can never build a people by sharing your opinions about god and your personalized dealings it is dangerous by reason of my work with god there are certain things god has programmed into my work with him it is just for me and him it is not for the people i lead now because of the results that come from obeying that unique dealing there are certain results you will see in my life and if you want to ask me why i am experiencing those results i will tell you this is the extra thing god said i should do for instance god can speak to someone and say empty your account and carry the only house you have give it it is not giving is a doctrine but that's your experience is not a doctrine so you may do it and in two weeks somebody will give you 10 billion someone who want to say how did you become so wealthy like this the moment you turn your personalized dealing into a formula to say if you want 10 billion sell your car you may sell your own and for 30 years you will not even see your destiny helper are we together this is the mystery behind people acting out what they were told to do and not getting results there is a difference between personalized dealings and doctrine what we must teach the body of christ is not just our experiences our experiences should be an added advantage to that which the word of god has already put in place and hebrews chapter 6 lists six doctrine foundations of the church six of them that before you attempt to step into perfection or higher levels and he said by the grace of God we will we have to lay that foundation it is important that believers be grounded in the world please look at me if Satan appears to you right now as Jesus do you have a system through a sound understanding of the word to be able to discern and decipher that error don't say it will not happen if Satan appears to you he's not going to appear to you with horns no when you learn doctrine and you learn scripture you understand the character of god you know from the word what god can do and what god cannot do because we learn god through the person jesus and everything that was captured in the life of jesus is an expression of who god is we use jesus as our manuscript to correct everything the prophets told us about god no matter how sure they were if we do not find it in jesus we have a right to probe their perception because they saw in part and they prophesied in part are we together we will give ourselves to doctrine number two fellowship comes from the word koinonia it says the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion the fellowship the participation the sharing together of the Holy Ghost let it be with you this is the second component that was captured in the early church that must be preserved in order to have the move of God in its purest form fellowship the first dimension of fellowship 
is fellowship with the Holy Spirit. The second dimension of fellowship is fellowship with the brethren in the house of God. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. It says, behold how good and pleasant it is, Psalm 133, when brethren dwell together in unity, that it is like the oil that comes upon the head of Aaron the priest, and it flows down even to his gut. It says, there the Lord had commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. They continued in fellowship there are many believers today who have a problem sitting in the house of God and listening to the Word of God and they will tell you my work with God is personal I, I don't need anybody that looks very sincere except if you are under a unique instruction otherwise you are already in trouble pick a life call look up please pick a life call from fire and just drop it away from where you picked it don't off it don't pour water what begins to happen to it community christian living is the key to sustaining kingdom values believers in the early church were always in companies they would always return to their companies it is something that if we lose your fellowship with the Holy Spirit is personal between you and him but do not lose touch with your fellowship with the brethren even the house of God component number three the breaking of bread the breaking of bread here does not just talk about communion no the breaking of bread was a um, would I say it was an expression that expressed love and unity please listen carefully scripture would always use the concept of breaking of bread to express love and unity it was talking about brethren and brethren the breaking of bread the revivals have been lost because of antagonism between one sex and another they did well in terms of learning doctrine are we together if you read the story respectfully speaking of um alexander the way and Maria Woodward Eater. It was one of the classic examples. The way was a great man who God was using very mightily. But something happened eventually because at the time there was no internet. So you wouldn't know what God was doing. Here comes this woman who seemed to be uneducated, who God was using very mightily. And it was the voice that they trusted that began to criticize her. And the way was a great man who God used mightily. He commanded the attention of politicians and all kinds of people. And yet this was the one who was fighting the next move of God. Robert Lerdon said the current move of God always seemed to fight the next move of God because the moment God starts doing something new what God is already doing now begins to fight just because God is doing something different from what he did before does not mean he's not the one doing it till today in Africa for instance we still fight the ministry of women rising you see that now there is a way the Bible describes that it should be done but there are many people till today who do not believe that God can lift women like Deborah, like Anna, like Rahab, like Ruth, like Esther. They continued in the breaking of bread. If we want to see the move of God happen to us in a mighty way in Abelkuta, listen, you must be able to throw away your differences and be able to embrace love and embrace unity there are certain dimensions of god's glory that cannot be captured by one man's spiritual experience no matter how faithful you are as an individual you are only an effective member in the body this is one of the things that i learned and this is why many times when i come for meetings like this i communicate profound honor for the leaders and the vessels here because let me tell you these men and women of God you see seated in front and some of you across we do not know you are powerful people with a track record and a testimony of the hand of God upon their lives and yet they come and open up themselves sincerely to listen to another man of God it is worthy of commendation and it is worthy of emulation because this is one spirit that is missing in the body of Christ is someone hearing now yes that means 
as a man a mighty man of god when you admit that there are dimensions that are not yet at work in you or there are dimensions you do not see you can sit down and listen to a man of god's message you can be blessed by it and it add it to your spiritual growth and it produces a holistic person love and unity please hear me abel kuta especially for the younger generation coming the spirit of competition the spirit of who is greater the spirit of whose prayer group or whose ministry is greater is a demonic spirit cast it out this night and cast it out in a hurry hallelujah i look forward to times when a man of god will be organizing crusades and another one will not know him and say listen i hear that god is doing this please i have five bosses can they help in making this happen and he said who are you it does not matter i i am just i know that you are contributing towards god what god is doing in abel kuta genuine love and unity the spirit of competition will always destroy people including sincere people and most of us younger ministers are being mentored now in a way that if not balance can destroy us mm -mm. Mm -mm. when god anoints you and grants you grace make sure that the body of christ benefits from the investment of the spirit over your life do not see another man of god or see another businessman and downplay the investment of god's work in their lives imagine that you come here there are many pastors here do you know as much as you see all of us here if the holy spirit is to arrange us according to our spiritual levels you will be surprised that some of us who are preaching to you now will be at the back in that queue I, I've known this years ago about my life. You will be surprised at those who are standing in front, who have a track record with God, but they are the ones who will come and keep quiet right from morning to night. Is someone learning? They continued steadfastly in doctrine, in fellowship with the Holy Spirit and themselves, in the communication of love and unity. And finally, I need to say this, in prayers let nobody deceive you about the validity and the importance of prayer as far as your spiritual growth is in, is as is concerned and as far as god's program is concerned when a people do not pray across a territory i assure you that territory is in trouble there is no such thing as i'm not a prayer warrior prayer is a responsibility a responsibility that is carved upon your heart by revelation are we together now you have a mandate to work out your salvation with fear and trembling you have a mandate to give diligence to these things to make your calling and your election sure when it has to do with prayer there may be people who are uniquely called and grace but he spake a parable to the end that men ought to pray and not to faint i'm saying this because there is a move that downplays prayer downplays fasting and makes it look like what is there the most there are people who don't serve god they don't pray yet they are prospering it may be sincere but they say mark the end of the wicked not the beginning you keep watching a man who has not fortified his stand with prayer is a man who is dangerous to himself and everyone around him the revival that is coming is not just an intellectual revival with people who have physical value engineers and doctors thank god for that and thank god for the seven mountains but you must understand and you must realize that the realm of the spirit controls the physical realm are we together now this is my final word to abel kuta there is no such thing as i'm a word person there is no such thing as i am a prayer person there's no such thing as i'm a fellowship person the bible does not dichotomize it if you want to be part of god's program you must continue steadfastly in number one doctrine number two fellowship number three the breaking of bread love and unity for the brethren and then number four prayers so if you find somebody who says i'm not a prayer person don't criticize him tell him you are in trouble that that philosophy is an attack from the pit of hell and if you find somebody who says all i do is prayer tell him listen my my dear one when jesus was done praying and satan came to him he said it is written not i prayed what helped him to defend satan was it is written 
that means with all of his prayer i wish i had time i would have taken you to matthew chapter 4 to show you jesus balancing the ministry of the word and of prayer he prayed and fasted but when satan came he never made mention of prayer as the reason for his defense it is written was what he used but when satan to switch to it is written the value of prayer to have created discernment was what helped to decipher his speakings are we together i am a prayer person no respectfully speaking that is wrong i am a word person that is wrong you may be well intentioned you are never given an option to choose between prayer or the word or fellowship or love for the brethren love for the brethren is a mandate and a command it has nothing to do with whether you like it or not you must love the brethren for how can you say you love God whom you have not seen when you do not love your brother whom you can see it's hypocrisy the test of your love for God is love for the brethren are we together I'll stop here so that I can speak over the sick speak over Belkuta and then we're done for the night has someone learned something please rise up on your feet they continued steadfastly in doctrine fellowship breaking of bread prayers doctrine fellowship breaking of bread prayers doctrine fellowship breaking of bread prayers all four must be captured in your spiritual experience all four must be captured in your church all four must be captured in your mentorship system if you want to see a people grow holistically I believe in what God is doing in Nigeria, especially at this prophetic time. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly before we pray, there's no point wasting your time. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, the church, Jesus said the church will be built on the rock. And the first rock is the revelation of Jesus. In every gathering like this, as you would read, when you get to verse 44 or thereabout, it says, and the Lord added daily to their number as many as should be saved the truth is that there are people here from maybe tuesday or whenever this started you have been coming but right where you are you know that you need to make your ways right with jesus you do not know jesus sincerely and you have not made things right with jesus for others you are saying i truly need to rededicate my life sincerely wherever you are Please give me the honor and the joy of leading you to Jesus. You may be the one person who your family is waiting for. You may be that like that man in Gadara. I'm going to count one to five. You want to make it right with Jesus or a rededication? Leave your seat and run. Come right now. Wherever you are, let's celebrate them as they come. God bless you. Let's celebrate them as they come. Don't sit back there when you should come to Jesus. Apostle, I need to make it right with Jesus. Abel Kuta, is this how you celebrate a harvest? Come. Come. No matter how far, come. 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 Who do men say that I am? Some say you are a miracle worker. Some say you are the one who give people jobs. Some say you are the one who give marriages. Some say you are the best of all the founders of religions. But Peter said, I know who you are. You are the Messiah. You are the Messiah. You are Messiah. You are Messiah. Messiah. Messiah, you are Messiah, Messiah. Listen, keep coming. Do you know, you can never tell how many trees come out of a seed. You can count the amount of fruits that come. These ones right now, as you see them, 
they may represent the mantle for the next move of God within this city there is no limit to how far and for some of you you are seated and you're saying apostle I want to come out but I really am not sure I remember I've made a decision like this before but right now the way my life is I cannot exactly tell if I'm serious with God I have a few seconds for you come out and join them as I pray there is something called the assurance of salvation come don't be ashamed that's why we are here for you come come hallelujah I salute every one of you and for those who are connecting by way of television or internet here is your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life sincerely no matter what else you receive the revelation of Jesus as the Christ the Christ does not just mean the anointed one it means the chosen one the one who was sent to die the price for your life was his life and he's giving you a new opportunity right now it doesn't matter how far you are veered off the Bible says that anybody who calls upon the name of the Lord that individual will be saved lift your right hand high above your head ladies and gentlemen and say this loud and clear after me say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I declare that you are my Savior you are my Lord and you are my king I declare that the power of sin of Satan of hell and of the grave is broken over my life I obtain grace to live a victorious Christian life in the name of Jesus I am a child of God from tonight and forever amen Keep your hands lifted father thank you for these precious people here in abel kota they have come responding to your call i pray lord jesus let this be the beginning of glorious moments in their lives according to the integrity of god's word i declare your sins forgiven and in the mighty and matchless name of jesus i speak over your life that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life you walk the victorious life and in the name of Jesus you will fulfill your destiny in Christ in Jesus name I pray now please very quickly I want you to follow the counselor waving the placard all of you in concert very quickly please comply with the instructions and the demands they will make of you just for a minute or two and you will rush back to join us in the service let's honor them as they go celebrate them as they go hallelujah now very quickly I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing sadly we may not have the time to take testimonies because I have to honor the time we've stretched you a bit but lay your hands there there are many people who came trusting God for a miracle did you come paradventure with any prayer request I'm not sure you did so I'll just speak generally over us. I'm going to speak over your body. I'll be done for tonight. Please lay your hands. I believe in the healing power of Jesus. You've seen the testimony of our dear sister who God granted a miracle. Miracles are real. They are not stage managed. They are not a figment of men's imagination. It is a demonstration of the love and the might of Jesus lay your hands i want to pray for you you can also stand for someone who is sick far beyond this place and the power of god is able to touch them as i shout the name of jesus i want you to shout a thunderous amen in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ, name of jesus christ. i decree and declare that every spirit of infirmity that has followed you to this ground or followed those that you are standing in for by the power that raised Christ from the dead we declare that it gives way now from the crown of your head 
even to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name 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 blood diseases be healed in Jesus name migraines be healed in Jesus name bone conditions be healed in Jesus name any stranger in your body that has not been planted by God we uproot it right now right now in the name of Jesus and in the same thing I speak over everyone here that has been in any kind of demonic captivity we announce your exodus now in the name of Jesus Christ eye conditions be healed ear conditions be healed heart conditions be healed genotype issues be corrected fertility issues be corrected failed organs receive brand new organs in the name of Jesus Christ and if there is anybody you know who has been given any death sentence as far as sickness is concerned maybe suffering from cancer or suffering from whatever in the name of Jesus we speak life to them we declare that they will not die in the mighty name of Jesus now I stand in faith with the fathers here represented over Abel Kuta over the Southwest and I decree and declare the role you have to play in the global revival the role you have to play in the continental revival across Africa the role that you have to play as far as the revival in Nigeria is concerned obtain grace to play it with honor in the name of Jesus Christ I declare over someone here your bishopric could not be taken by another all those who have been sent as watchmen to prepare people in the place of priesthood obtain grace to be effective in your assignment the communicators of doctrine who have been given the eye of the spirit to dissect scripture and bring understanding to the body receive grace to be effective the pastors that have been mandated to take care of God's flock in the name of Jesus I declare that you will be effective the apostles and the prophets that have been mandated to coordinate the spiritual activities across their predefined territories receive grace to serve God's purposes with humility in the name of Jesus the kingdom financiers that have been mandated to be empowered by wisdom and to supply resources that make for this coming revival obtain grace to be effective in the mighty name of Jesus and I pray for all within the land of Abel Kuta it will be a tragic thing if this kind of prophetic and apostolic conference is happening yearly and then it does not translate to the spiritual advancement the socio-economic advancement of the people within the land therefore I lend my voice with every man of God here we pray first for every church in Abel Kuta regardless the denomination regardless the platform provided they name the name of Christ and contribute towards the building and the maturing of the saints be empowered afresh in the name of Jesus be empowered afresh in the name of Jesus we pray for every business and every economic structure that has been put in this land to provide value and better the lives of people in the name of Jesus the wisdom and the favor you need to thrive and remain receive it in the name of Jesus we pray for this ministry that have so graciously provided the platform year in year out for us to be blessed in the name of Jesus we stand in faith with the angel over this ministry and we declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead that that which comes upon men who give their all 
to the program of God let it come upon this ministry let it come upon God's servant let it come upon all who walk with him in the name of Jesus Christ please hear me for all who have given for this program financially in terms of prayer i got to understand that there was a prayer team that was put up specifically for am i right on that men who kept praying you didn't just come people prayed that god will clear the atmosphere for you to come the bible says a worker is deserving of his wages we pray in the name of jesus for everyone who is part of the prayer team and the workforce here of abm may the god of heaven who is the rewarder of men reward you speedily in the name of jesus let me declare that everyone who is here present you will not be absent by next year's program we have two more months to the end of the year this is where the waster is unleashed over destinies there is a spirit called the waster you will just hear that someone shouted my head my head and just died let me speak over your life if there is any plague of death over you to say you will not finish this year with honor and with dignity i command death to pass over you now death passes over you now and in the name of jesus as part of our spiritual and corporate responsibility we lend our voice in this conference to pray over the future of nigeria we decree and declare father arise over this nation february is the election we have just a few months in the name of jesus we decree and declare every darkness to tie down this nation and put it under siege we stand as priests upon the watchtower and we declare the purposes of god for nigeria must be established in the name of jesus finally let me pray a fire i have learned that you do not have anything valuable if the spiritual substance that makes up your life is low or not there no matter what else you have if you lose touch with spiritual reality you have lost touch with everything therefore i pray for you from the depth of my heart your hunger for god your hunger for the things of god your hunger for the place of the altar your hunger for the word of god your hunger for consecration and walking in uprightness and holiness and righteousness may that create you will be a believer in word you will be a believer in deed you will be a believer in lifestyle you will be a believer in character and for your family members that you left wherever you left to come here in the name of jesus because you are here on this ground we send angels on assignment by the word of the lord to bring to pass that which is needed in their in their lives in this season in the name of jesus christ Pastor Shola, thank you so very much. Joshua Pastor Shekou, thank you. Abel Kuta, thank you for receiving our ministry. Somebody give God praise. The Lord honor you. Oh, glory to God. Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe. Upon my life, I receive, I manifest 
your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted I receive I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorified everybody breathe Lord I manifest, listen to the song, your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted, I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorified breathe Lord Exalted, 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 he's exalted, exalted. The prayer tonight. Sing, breathe, Lord. Breathe, breathe Lord. Breathe, Lift your voice. Breathe, breathe upon my life. Breathe, breathe, Lord. Breathe, breathe, Lord. Breathe, breathe upon my life. Till the nations see Jesus. Jesus, lifted up, exalted, till the nations see Jesus, lifted up, glorified, till the nations see Jesus, lifted up, exalted. Till the nations see Jesus. 
Jesus, a big, 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 big shout of praise. Go ahead and celebrate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the miracle worker, mighty God. Sheba Kaparako Sebrede Belekotusiata. Hemanda Shalako Sebrede Belekotusiata.
Shada das kabarako sabrati kabarando shalagreski vedich. If this is all you do tonight, it was worth your coming. Shaligaberetus kafrate kabeleko siata. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. 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 Lamb of God. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Conferences like this are supposed to be moments of spiritual awakening. That something holy fire burn upon my altar from within me spirit to take over holy fire burn upon my altar holy fire burn upon my altar from within me Spirit to take over, holy fire burn upon my altar. Shalaka paruka skabredish. Shalim beretus kia vana shalakros kaberetus yata. I just sense the spirit of prayer and supplication tonight. I just sense the grace to reignite your prayer life the grace to reignite your passion some of you whilst you pray everything that is not of God is giving way some of you while you pray you are hearing the voice of the spirit afresh as they pray the Holy Ghost said to them separate me Paul and Barnabas someone pray I thought we will stop but I sense a move of the spirit to continue for a minute or two. Aleka paragato shabra gada belagata, skata branda gaba rekos kate fregada belagata, shagra kate bato shata branda gaba ragatos, shada bana gata balagata bragata balagatos, ragata branda gaba negatesh, ebragata branda skaba regata. Shkaligata prade ke baruka toska fresh, embrata kata prade ke bela kata, shada shada bara kata prade ke bela kata, mata prata kata prade ke bela kata, embrata prade ke prade ke bela kata, embrata skata prade ke bela kata bela kata. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus mighty name we pray Spirit of the Living God I pray that you will breathe upon your people tonight thousands of people gathered in the name of Jesus gathered for an encounter gathered to access power gathered to access grace you will not be disappointed tonight I believe with all my heart that from tonight ministries will be birthed in this place apostolic ministries prophetic ministries evangelical ministries will be birthed in the name of Jesus I believe that within the few minutes we have age-long curses yokes 
captivities of all sorts will bow to the name of Jesus tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, you may be seated for a few minutes. I want you to be very sensitive. Thank you. Hallelujah. Pastor Shola, thank you so much for your obedience. It's on account of your obedience alongside the team that we're all gathered here tonight. Every house is built by some man, the Bible says, even though God is the builder of all. Praise the name of the Lord. I know that it's raining, but I'm grateful that everyone is able to find this space. The most important thing tonight and right now are your eyes, your ears, and your heart. And none of them is affected by the rain. Your eyes, your ears, and your heart. Your eyes to see, your ears to hear, your heart to believe and to receive. The Lord will do us good in Jesus' name. I just want to bring a very brief charge tonight. Right from the first day, the second, third, and now today, I'm sure that speaker after speaker, several people have come with several dimensions of truth and we enjoyed a wonderful moment of worship with pastor nat but just to point a key the lord placed it in my heart to just show us one key connected to the theme of this conference and then hopefully we pray some more i speak over your life and by his grace we are done for the night first corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14 if you can hear me let the devil know you are still a lot and hearing shout hallelujah the bible says but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of god for they are foolishness to him neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned very profound scripture that means in the dealings of God with men, oftentimes God will deploy strategies that do not make sense to the natural mind. The Bible is saying here that one who is void of spiritual intelligence, one who is not yet alive spiritually, cannot understand the way God operates. Because you see, in the kingdom, God operates beyond the realm of logic. The realm of logic is a realm where everything has to be calculated and everything has to fit reasoning. But in the economy of God, in the economy of heaven, it does not work that way. The Bible is full of many examples of God walking in such a way and a manner that would not have made sense to any intelligent person. However, the results that follow are nothing short of supernatural and extraordinary. The natural man understanded not the things of the spirit. Second scripture, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, we will read 25 and 26. 1 Corinthians chapter 1. The Bible says, The foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God, if any, is stronger than men. The next verse. For you see your calling, brethren, he says, how that not many wise men after the flesh not many mighty men not many noble are called in fact let's add 27 give us the next verse for god has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and god has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty that means when god deals with men he would use strategies that do, does not make sense for instance how does praying in the spirit 
translate to supplying strength capacity and energy in the spirit how does dancing over situations and circumstances translate to victory in the spirit these are the ways of god they may not make sense to the natural man how does giving parting away with your resources translate to increase and abundance that the ways of god the weakness the foolishness of god if any are wiser than the wisdom of men it's important that we appreciate this in first corinthians i believe chapter 2 and verse 7 first corinthians chapter 2 and verse 7 the bible tells us that we speak the wisdom of god in a mystery it says even the hidden wisdom which god had ordained before the world unto our glory there is a kind of wisdom that has been preordained for the glory of the saints i think it was in luke chapter 1 and verse 17 the bible calls it the wisdom of the just that there is something called the wisdom that is at work in the life of they that have been justified by faith so I'm starting tonight by helping us understand that the ways of God are not the ways of men. The strategies of the spirit are not like human strategies. They defy the law of logic. However, they contain within them the very power of God to translate the saints to a realm of grace and a realm of glory. I wrote down something here and I want you to listen very carefully. The basis I wrote here for the believer's victory in this kingdom is the finished work of Christ. The basis for the, the finished work of Christ. However, the administration of this victory, the reality of it being made manifest in your life, depends on your accessing the wisdom of the Spirit per time and per season please pay attention that it is true that in christ victory has been wrought for the saints in christ there are no limits to the believers potential in christ we have been called to a life of glory and grace and excellence and power that the believers life should be an ever increasing effulgence of grace on one hand these realities have been established in christ but that they are manifest on what christ has done it depends on your ability to access wisdom part time so the saints live defeated lives in ministry in career in business and in every other endeavor not because the victory that should be theirs has not been there in christ but they have not learned the technology in the spirit to buy into the wisdom of the spirit and appropriate experientially that victory that has been finished in Christ. So you hear many people say, for instance, I will never be defeated because the Bible says, now thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph. But you look at their lives and you see that they are defeated. There are many who quote the scripture. We have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every kindred, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. And so by it, they say in the name of Jesus, I can never be under a curse. That is a reality from God's standpoint. But you look at their lives and you see that they are still in the experience of bondage. It was in Hebrews chapter 2 when paul was speaking he made reference to what the psalmist said in psalm 8 he said what is man that thou art mindful of not the son of man that thou visitest him he says you have made him a little lower than elohim crowned him with glory and honor he said you have set him above the works of your hands and that in doing so you left nothing you put all things under his feet 
and you did not leave anything that was not under his feet the rendition in hebrews chapter 2 says but now we do not yet see all things in experience in as much as you have been called to a life of grace and power when i look at your life i do not yet see the manifestation of that reality and my assignment tonight is to show you the missing link and then to connect you with one spiritual mystery and then we wrap up for tonight all things have been finished in christ it's a reality that has nothing to do with your experience it's a reality that has nothing to do with your feelings if you live a defeated christian life for the rest of your life it does not change the fact that jesus died resurrected has defeated sin satan hell and the grave it is a fact if you live in sickness all the days of your life it will not change the fact that by his stripes we are healed if you live in poverty and lack it does not change the fact that we know the grace of our lord jesus christ that though he was rich yet for your sake he became poor that you through his poverty might become rich that it is he that gives you the power to get wealth if you live a weak and a mediocre life it does not change the fact that you have been given a heritage to be exalted above all the nations of the earth and that this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you if you live a weak christian life it does not change the fact that you have been given access to power by the spirit according to Micah chapter 3 and verse 8 it says surely I am full of power by the spirit whether that becomes a reality in your life or not does not change the fact that this is true from the standpoint of God are we following tonight so we have believers who keep quoting scripture correctly so but their lives are not a capture and a representation of that reality when jesus was teaching to pray he said let it be done in the air as it is in the heavens that means to replicate the realities that are in the heavens to be made manifest in the life of the believer here and now and the bible says the reason why many believers are not able to come into the experience of the spirit life is that the ways of God defy logic we live in a world and we live in a civilization where you have to understand how one plus one becomes two to believe and agree with it and unfortunately the ways of the spirit does not work like that that if a man is to walk with God and live the spirit life he must be able to subscribe to a higher pathway that defies logic in many instances the Christian experience does not take away intelligence but that it tells you that in addition to intelligence there is a realm higher than it for instance you shall not see wind you shall not see rain yet your valley shall be filled with water that is not a statement that makes any sense to an intelligent person for instance by this time tomorrow that the whole land of samaria would have abundance beyond imagination for instance moses stretched forth your rod and part the red sea heather and teeter that god's people would walk on dry ground the ways of god is someone following now many believers are unable to come into the experience of the kingdom and the spirit life because the ways of God defy in many regards logic I wrote something here and I want you to listen every dimension of result or possibility in the kingdom has a divine strategy connected to it please listen every dimension of possibility and result in the kingdom that you will experience from now on and for all the days of your life there is a divine strategy there is a wisdom component by the spirit 
that is connected to it watch this can i use you my dear come and any gentleman just come watch this now here is a young lady standing and here is a gentleman standing for all of these people what the bible says about them as far as god's commitment to them remains a fact god desires to prosper this wonderful lady god desires to prosper this gentleman are we together now both of them can believe that it is the will of god to prosper them but do you know they are working in the experience of it the strategy that will be given to this gentleman to step into that blessing is not the same strategy that will be given to this young lady are we together yeah the goal is that all of them come into the experience of what has been finished in Christ. But that for this man to step into that experience as an individual, there is a unique strategy built by the Spirit. And it is your assignment to know how to draw to your life the strategy connected to every level of triumph. If I can help you understand this tonight, I have given you a key that will set you on fire and cause you to be a sign and a wonder. When you look at the lives of people and you see the extraordinary manifestations of the spirit, I hope you know that the realm that they are functioning in is not just something that was uniquely carved out for them. It is the heritage of all believers. The difference is that through the spirit and the word, they have downloaded the strategy allocated for their unique destiny. Are we together so for this gentleman the strategy god can give him is train yourself in your music ministry serve the nations with it rehearse every morning i will give you songs in the place of prayer this is god's strategy to him to bring him into the realm of influence in the kingdom and even prosperity for this my dear sister in as much as the word of God says she should prosper, she may use this gentleman's strategy and never see what God said. Because it is your assignment as a believer to receive the unique blueprint carved out for your destiny. Is someone listening now? Now you understand my song. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see jesus lifted up he is exalted i receive i manifest your power your wisdom till the nations see jesus lifted up glorify so moses is standing with the nation of israel thank you and he's standing in front of the red sea god had already spoken to him that he was going to take the people from egypt the land of bondage to a land that was flowing with milk and honey but now he's standing in front of the red sea it did not change what god said but he needed to go back to god what is the strategy to deal with this red sea because when you began to speak to me you didn't tell me i will face a red sea you only told me the end of my journey now that i have confronted a red sea there must be an intelligence that was attached to that prophecy reveal the intelligence that will get me to the place of prophecy and the lord said why do you stand crying before me tell the people that they go forward that strategy was only used once if you were listen if you got to the days of jesus with only the memory of moses's strategy and you were peter and jesus said come you will reject that instruction because you will say the only strategy i know is that the water can part but that is not the only way to go forward there is a strategy allocated for every prophecy. 
are we together jesus reveals a new strategy and he says if it be thou bid me come and he says come and he begins to walk on water now it's recorded but how many of you know that walking on water is not the only strategy too many miracles jesus did the bible says which were not recorded in this book but these were recorded that we might believe that he is the son of god and that in believing we will have life everlasting hear me believers the moment you find out god's prophetic blueprint for your life knowing the will of god is fundamental to destiny actualization but just remaining in the realm of the awareness of the will of god for you will not get you there you must learn the technology in the spirit that downloads the wisdom connected to every step of your destiny hallelujah praise the name of the lord you must receive the unique strategy given to make his will come to pass in your life for instance in second kings 4 3 to 5 the woman met the prophet and began to cry my children are about to be taken away because my late husband left me in debt the prophet would have said go and prosper but he gave her a strategy by the spirit what do you have in your house she said nothing except a cruise of oil and he said all right go and get that cruise of oil get many vessels and then shut the door pour in that oil and it will not stop until it be filled go and sell it pay your debt and leave off the rest ladies and gentlemen you try to apply that strategy it will not work for you because it was not allocated for your unique destiny are we together now knowing the will of god is not enough we must learn how to buy into the mind of the spirit to get unique wisdom strategies per moment that helps us to triumph if you're with me shout a loud amen. amen another example is found in john chapter 9 and verse 6 the bible tells us that there was a man who was blind and jesus wanted to minister healing to that man can you imagine i hope you know that jesus healed many blind people in scripture and yet none of them was healed by the same strategy blind Bartimeo. He asked him a question, what do you want to receive my sight? And that was it. But for this gentleman, the Bible says that Jesus had to spit on clay. Is that in your Bible? He made, you know, spit him out of it and then rubbed it on his eyes and said, go to Siloam and wash. In another instance, he laid his hands on the eyes of one. And he said, what do you see? I see men like trees and he laid hands on him a second time. My question is, what informed the strategy that Jesus used per patient? This was the reason why his life was invincible. Even though he was the son of God, he knew that knowing the will of God alone would not bring it to pass. That he must be able to access per time and perceive the wisdom of God in John chapter 2 when you read from verse 1 to 11 just write for reference the Bible talks about the wedding in Cana of Galilee are we Bible students then he says how that the wine was spent and there was nowhere to get wine and Mary brought them to Jesus now how many of you know that God is mighty and even in that occasion as god incarnate he was still mighty but the knowledge of him being mighty did not provide wine mary said he is going to tell you something because this is how the kingdom operates there is a wisdom that is about to come out from him to bring his will to pass and when you get that wisdom do it whatsoever he tells you to do do it and jesus said all right now that you are ready to see the will of God come to manifest and the glory of God to be made manifest, fill six pots with water. And then when they did, he said, fetch it, do not taste it, do not verify. You just keep going. Go and give the rulers. 
and the bible says as they went that miracle happened you see it now the reason why many believers only know the will of god never to see it manifest in their lives is that we are just conscious of receiving the will of god alone but we are not conscious of accessing by the spirit are we together now we are not conscious of accessing by the spirit the unique wisdom strategy that has been given to bring that will to pass then we are ready to go to the scripture that ties to the theme of tonight it will make sense to you now as we prepare to pray joshua chapter 6 we are reading from verse 1 to 4 then we will jump somewhere along the line to verse 20 and then finally we will end at verse 27 hallelujah are we together let me hear you shout a loud amen, amen. now jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of israel the bible says none went out and none came in are we still following read verse 2 if you can see it as loud as you can ready one to read and the lord said unto joshua uh-huh see i have given into thy hand jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of fellow now stop there god spoke to joshua as if he did not know that there was a wall with a gate that was closed joshua whether you walk in the reality of it or not know this for a fact i have given you already i have given you jericho i have given you the king i have given you the men of fellow it is now up to you you know my will if you live a defeated life and jericho kills you it does not change the fact that i gave you already but the missing link now was receiving the strategy that will bring prophecy to pass verse 3 thank you give us verse 3 open your eyes and see by the spirit and ye shall come past the city are you seeing the strategy now god never reveals his will alone we are just impatient and we don't stay to get the strategy the moment we get the will we start running and inventing our own strategies hallelujah it's one thing to buy a car that can run at 180 kilometers per hour but you need to know the kind of gas that fuels it if you buy a mercedes benz and because you cannot wait at the filling station to put the right fuel to put the right engine oil imagine that you pour water it does not stop the fact that the car has the potential to deliver but you have ruined the potential because you got the correct car but you did not wait to get the specific fuel are we together so he received the blueprint i have given you jericho like for a man of god i have given you abel kuta like for someone i have given you the nations this is how god speaks but the moment you shout amen on one hand don't start running yet stay back and say lord you always give prophecy and strategy prophecy and strategy god never gives prophecy alone it is prophecy and strategy if he has given you prophecy the mission is not complete wait and tarry tarry in prayer tarry in fasting you may look like you are delayed but you are waiting and men will say you already know where you are going tell them i need to know how to get there i can't assume i will get there by my strength is god helping someone this is the reason why for the last five years you kept writing everything god said but your life has not gone forward because the only thing you wrote was what he said you did not stay with him to tell you how you assumed that because what he told you was what he told another man of god he meant the strategy was the same 
Are we together? Let's finish that scripture. Verse 4. Joshua chapter 6. Watch this. Let's do 3 and 4. Back to 3, my dear people. And ye shall compass the city. All ye men of war. Uh -huh. And go round about the city once. Say strategy. One more time. Say strategy. He said this shall you do for six days if joshua did it for two days it will be disobedience if he did it for 10 days it will be disobedience why god chose six days leave it to the wisdom of the spirit that's why i started by telling you that the foolishness of god is wiser than the wisdom of men how do you want to take down a city and then God tells you, I have given you. Do you know Joshua would have said, Amen. Thank you. And he would have said, Guys, put your swords together. After all, you are warriors. They would have been defeated. I have given you. Go around strategy. Every day once. Verse 4. And seven priests uh -huh, shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns and the seventh day shall ye compass the city seven times and then the strategy for this victory is that the priest shall blow the trumpet it's not about music that it is a strategy in the spirit are we together finish the scripture and the priest shall blow the trumpet and the bible says that if they walk with this jericho will be given so now joshua receives the prophetic word and then he stays with god to receive the strategy i know god called you to be a pastor i am not in doubt he even gave you the name of the ministry but man of God, did you stay long enough? And do you revisit his presence to receive the strategy for 2023? Just because you received the strategy to start ministry does not mean you have received the strategy for now. One of the benefits and the blessings of the presence of God is that every time we stay in his presence, in prayer, in study in worship that activity there is an intercourse in the spirit and among the many things that we receive is the strategy for the next level are we together it's called the hidden wisdom of god so i need to go to the next level god has told me i will take you to the nations how will it happen your assignment is to begin to engage the forces of the spirit the forces of prayer the forces of the word the forces of fasting the forces of consecration the forces of sacrifice and with all these forces what you are doing is you are aligning with the spirit and then in a way that only god can explain the strategy for the next level can i tell you the moment the strategy arrives start rejoicing there is to that level the moment the strategy arrives joshua chapter 6 verse 20 give us verse 20 please i like us to read together are you ready to read verse 20 one to read when the priest blew with the trumpet and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet and they shouted with a great shout the wall fell down hmm. this is how it works in the kingdom hallelujah hallelujah do you understand all that i've said it came to pass that when the people did as god gave as a strategy they shouted when they heard the sound of the trumpet 
I'm sure, imagine that you were inside Jericho. You will be wondering, what are warriors doing with a trumpet? What are warriors doing with a shout? Suddenly you begin to see the fence, the fortification of a city sinking because the wisdom of the spirit has been revealed. Verse 27. That will be our final verse for tonight. As we prepare to pray, something is about to happen here now. Verse 27. Read it as loud as you can. So the Lord was with Joshua and his fame was noised throughout all the country. I thank God his name is Joshua. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorify breathe Lord breathe Lord breathe breathe Lord breathe breathe upon my heart breathe Lord breathe breathe Lord breathe upon my life listen God is breathing upon your life Eli who said in Job 32 and verse 8 there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the almighty can make ordinary men men who should not rise men who have no comeliness but they have learned that it is prophecy plus strategy that is equal to manifestation not just the will of God if God says it find out how he said it should come to pass the things that are written of our time they are for our learning so that we through patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope I'm saying this because we are about to pray for someone here in the course of prayer God is going to give you a strategy A strategy for the next season of your life a strategy for the next dimension of your life listen that men will look at you and all they will see is the glory of God in your life manifestations of glory and power manifestations of grace by the wisdom of the Spirit say father I receive the knowledge of your will and father by the Spirit, reveal to me the strategy that brings your will to pass in my life. Say it again, reveal to me the strategy that brings your will to pass in my life. Listen, listen, we're about to pray. Let me give you one testimony and then we pray. Is God helping someone tonight? You may have heard me share my story many years ago. I was praying because I had seen through scripture, I have seen through my visions that God had a destiny for me to take his grace, his power, his life, the fire of revival across the nations. But from my lowly estate, didn't know anybody, didn't have any ability to rise on my own. Nobody knew me. I needed to receive the strategy the prophecy was already there I hope you know if I stayed there saying God you, you will do it I would have been disappointed like many of you are already disappointed one time I remember I was praying and the Lord told me it's time to announce you to the nations but how would that happen and the Lord told me then just the infancy of social media and he said take your teachings and put them online for free my angel will send them to the nations 
and this is a strategy i will use to announce you the foolishness of the wisdom of god right there in that one room i had received the blueprint as simple as that strategy is it is one of the reason why this man stands before you and everything you have heard god do through this life is not just because we are special as it were is because through childlike faith we did not just receive the will of god but the knowledge of the strategy we are gathered today right now not just because god intended to move over abel kota but there had to be a strategy how would he do it so the organizers did not just receive the mission the command for seven years god had granted his servant grace it is the first time we are using it here as though god knew rain would come as though god knew that a lot of things would not have been in place if this strategy was not deployed you will never know the wisdom before god the wisdom that comes with god's strategy until you obey it you will see how cheap victory is in the spirit when the blueprint and the strategy is given to you hallelujah you will go to the ends of the earth he told the disciples apostles but here is how it will start start from jerusalem then judea samaria then to the uttermost part and they started from jerusalem and then persecution spread them to every other area if they had chosen to just get up and start anyhow they would have failed i know god told you to do business but have you stayed to receive how to do it or did you just assume that because god said i must succeed god said i am giving you land in abel Kuta, and you went by yourself and chose everything be careful lest you choose the portion that is near sodom only god can direct men into his will hallelujah when i learned this i never do anything in my life even if i know god has said to do it i will stay until i get the strategy if it means me fasting i will fast if it means me staying down and not making progress i rather be perceived to be experiencing delay than to invent a strategy by myself are we together i remember those days there were many 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 young people with such passion to do ministry and many of them respectfully speaking were just copying anything genuinely called some of those people i can tell you with the kind of grace and zeal they had they should be speaking his purposes to the nation today some of you have seen this you've seen people on campus like that you've seen people across your spiritual journey vibrant people you know the hand of god is upon their lives but they never stayed to get strategy can i tell you it takes more than two hours prayer to get strategy you will stay until he comes you will pray until he comes you will study until he comes sometimes he will give you prophecy in 2019 the strategy will come in 2023 is your assignment to stay you will think as soon as he tells you the strategy comes next day no your waiting is part of the preparation to receive the strategy i'm saying it to somebody here who is saying apostle the call of god is upon my life but i don't know why god will not let me start a church i don't know i know i see myself in dreams healing the sick my brother your vision is correct but you will abort destiny if you don't stay and receive the strategy can i tell you sometimes people will love you too much they will hurry you into seasons without receiving strategy they will do it through compassion come and preach you are an anointed man of god and the spirit of god says stay i'm anointing you but it's not your time tonight i came by the spirit i have about 10 more minutes 
my assignment tonight is to show you this revelation but also to connect you because the strategy for your victory i came with it too by the spirit of god i didn't just come to announce to you that weakness has come to an end i didn't just come to announce to you that you are ready for the anointing i didn't just come to announce to you that that sickness will give way i also came with a strategy hallelujah how god would do it tonight he also gave the blueprint by the spirit of god hmm. i tell you i sense a strong anointing strong anointing in this place we see the rain of your love we see the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear we see the rain of your love we feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear so let it rain let it rain Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many years ago, or a few years ago, the Lord spoke to me that He was taking me to another dimension. And another level of grace and influence but he gave me the knowledge of what he was doing but the strategy had not come one morning I got up praying as usual and then the Holy Spirit tells me right now carry a seed and run to Canaan land strategy I would have just done a transfer what is it about going there by yourself that is the wisdom of God but some can say God I'm busy let me just send it's not about donation it's about your ability to connect is someone learning now I remember I got there dropped my seed did what I had to do when I came out to enter the car I was already a man of God and then I got down on my knees and the Lord told me lay your hands on the ground there when I laid my hands there, he said, from this day, you have entered the overflow anointing. I'm saying this to you because something is about to rest on your life. Hallelujah. I was in a Reinhard Bonke crusade. Just like this. Thousands of people. I wonder why they did not receive. Because that grace was available for everyone. But I needed a strategy. And the strategy came as a quickening in my spirit. Serve. Don't just stand waiting for prayer. That as simple as that. That was a strategy that connected me to that ancient grace. I sensed a nudging in my spirit to serve. And I got up. I said I will swallow my pride. Let me help people. And I was willing people on wheelchair to the front. As a man of God, I was serving. And I said, Lord, the same way I'm serving this grace, that is how these miracles will happen in my meetings too. Because without all contradiction, the lesser is blessed of the greater. Hear me, ladies and gentlemen. For someone, as you are here right now, your strategy for receiving the anointing you saw in your dream can be what Elijah told Elisha, if you can see me. So while others are getting distracted, you are there positioned in the spirit. Lord, I know something will fall. I was here in Abelkuta, ABM, uh, the fourth edition, fifth edition, but I know what you told me last week and I am ready to receive it. For someone, the strategy God can give you is to connect with a seed with understanding. For someone, the strategy God can give you, listen, can be 
that after this convention this conference take three days and fast don't go around take three days listen to the messages again that can be your strategy not everybody's strategy your strategy for someone here maybe you are about to step into a dimension of prophetic psalmistry where songs come without writing them they come from heaven but god may give you an assignment and say from now till december your strategy is every night carry your keyboard carry your guitar play it for one hour that's it in that obedience you will write more songs in two months than you have written in 10 years many of the songs that you hear that i sing these songs did not come by writing they were products of his presence holy holy blessed is he who comes in the name of our god hosanna Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Man of God, we're about to pray. Maybe this is a prophetic word for you. God told you it's time to move the ministry to the next level. And you check the budget and it's maybe hundreds of millions or billions of naira. Do not guess your strategy. You will lose your integrity and you will be perceived to look like a fraudster and the strategy will still not work he told you he's taking you to the next side let him define the strategy the whole bill can come from one man without you announcing it the bill can come from 1000 people moved by the spirit let him be the lord of your strategy not just the lord of your destination hallelujah now hear me i have a few minutes but is it all right if we pray again the first time you prayed was just for personal edification this prayer you are going to pray now you are positioning your spirit like habakkuk i will stand upon my watch and set myself upon the tower so that i will see what you will say to me because i'm going to call upon the lord in the next five minutes that as you pray that you will speak oh lord speak concerning a family what is the strategy that will end poverty in that family forever what is the strategy that will take this man of god from abel kuta to the ends of the earth speak from the heavens and the earth will hear oh speak from your throne and i'll hear from the earth oh speak from the heavens and the earth will hear for my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you go ahead and pray oh speak from the heavens and the earth will hear oh speak from the heavens and the earth will hear my altar is calling you Oh God, my altar is calling you. Oh God, let the fire from your altar touch my body. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. 
Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. We are still praying. Let me show you something. Do you know, when God called me to minister his word, I knew that God was going to help me serve the truth of his word to the nations. But how that will happen, I did not know. One day I was praying and then a scripture opened before me. I will reveal my dark sayings upon the harp. That is the reason why you see that when I stand to teach, there's music or there's worship playing softly. It's not just because I'm a musician. It is the strategy connected to the anointing. It's not a ritual. Someone can copy blindly and find out that what is happening in your case is a nuisance and an interruption because it was not a strategy. Hallelujah. You see all kinds of manifestations happen when I speak. With all humility, let me tell you, this one is beyond anointing. I remember a time when I was praying and God said I was going to carry his grace and serve it to many and to nations. How would that happen? The Lord opened my eyes and he told me, he said, Son, from this day I give you my presence as a gift. And then my eyes is open and I see this being standing before me. And he said, he will walk with you. I said, what is his name? And he said, he's called the angel of the Lord's presence. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Let the fire from your altar touch me. I'm not singing. I'm invoking something to your spirit. Hi. Father, rest upon your people. Rest upon your people, men and women. Rest upon a prayer warrior tonight. Rest upon an apostle in the making, a prophet in the making. Rest upon them like the dew of Ammon. Rest upon your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and receive. Rest upon their lives that they will never be the same. Rest upon their prayer life. Rest upon their word study life. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to lay your hands. I know that it's dark. But lay your hands wherever you are. Lay it on any part of your body. You are trusting God for healing. My God. The Spirit of God is moving mightily in this place. I'm seeing impartations happening. Some of you, God brought you here to call you to a deeper fellowship. There is something you need to hear in this season. You are already behind time. Did you hear what the Spirit is saying? You are behind time. You need to stay until fire comes on your destiny. You need to stay until His Word rests upon your destiny. But lay your hands now. I want to pray for you. You are sick in your body. Lay your hands. Healing rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. Not afraid. Not afraid. Healing rain is.
is falling down healing rain is falling down I'm not afraid one more time healing rain is falling down healing rain is falling down I'm not afraid I'm not afraid lay your hands and believe Jesus hear me the theme of this conference is the seven trumpet and something is going to happen here usually I would just speak over you but you lay your hands there is no trumpet here but there is going to be a shout just one shout and with that one shout the healing power of God will come like a tornado and every age-long infirmity in your body blood conditions HIV organ failures of all kinds and all sorts is about to give way now do you believe that lay your hands you can stand in for your loved ones and for those who might be following by way of the internet here is your chance here in Abelkuta believe in Jesus for a mighty move in your body At the count of three ladies and gentlemen hear me at the count of three I just want you to shout the word hallelujah the word hallelujah is halal Yeshua hallelujah hallelujah at the count of three you just obey this instruction you will marvel and wonder at what happens to you now we're not bringing anyone's out under the anointing but please let me plead with you if anyone is under the anointing close to you do well to hold them so that we don't have any casualties you can imagine that this is a stadium but then you are shouting for your healing let's do that very quickly you believe in jesus father i decree and declare by the wisdom of the spirit that as we shout hallelujah lord that you descend with a shout and in the name of Jesus, every mountain of sickness, disease, and infirmity that has played hallelujah once and be two, three, go ahead. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name.
Jesus name be healed in Jesus name headaches be gone now blood conditions be cleansed now help those under the anointed my God every pain in your body bone conditions be healed now eye conditions be healed now ear conditions be healed now lumps and growths any part of your body I command it to dissolve now in the name of Jesus peptic ulcer be healed now hepatitis be healed now every cardiovascular disease be healed now in the name of Jesus number two I'm going to ask you to lay your hands on your head just do that and allow me pray I want to rebuke every spirit that has tied down your destiny father right now I pray here in this stadium everybody who is under any strange spirit tying down your destiny tying your family by the power of the Holy Ghost as you're laying your hands on your head at the count of three shout Jesus and that devil will leave you are you ready one two three shout Jesus be delivered now be delivered now yokes of darkness help them every familiar spirit you come under arrest now release every destiny release every destiny release every destiny my god open your mouth and begin to declare your liberty in the name of jesus everything that has held me down it gives way tonight the trumpet the shofar sounded every captivity comes to an end every jericho goes down is someone praying something is happening to you hallelujah 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 now listen to me by way of a raise of hand how many of you know that the call of God is upon your life I mean you know that the hand of God is upon your life I'm saying that because something is about to fall on you now I have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that Baba Wani Kamaruka I have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that Baba Wani Kamaruka there's no one like you. Yeah, yes. Babu wani kamaruka. Babu wani kamaruka. Babu wani kamaruka. Yeah, yes. Hear me. The Lord wants to transfer graces to men right now. 
hear me there are some of you the mantle for the next level has been looking for you the mantle for the next level with this current level of empowerment you cannot go far no you will need an empowerment again i want to stretch my hands and by the way those of you at the back do not think just because you are at the back you are alienated from this meeting right where you are i want you to connect by faith believing that the hand of god is reaching you there and touching you there i see you at the back i see those who are in this area everywhere all over this stadium i want you to pray one last prayer father the unction i need to rise to the next dimension in the spirit let it rest upon me now go ahead and pray mantles graces unctions someone pray someone is carrying something go ahead and pray i want to speak over your life by the grace of jesus hallelujah where are those called into the ministry of prophetic intercession there are men and women who god is anointing to stand upon their watch and to see that the purposes of god is birthed in abel Kuta. wherever you are i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus at the count of three may that oil rest on you one two get ready now three take that anointing now take that grace the grace to travel the grace to pray i release it upon you now in the name of jesus christ you will pray down revival across territories you will pray and not faint in the name of jesus christ hallelujah help those under the anointing can i tell you one of the most needed graces in the body of christ right now is the wisdom of god there is a lot of bankruptcy of divine wisdom it is very clear that only very few people are carrying the wisdom of god and when he sends a word to jacob he intends that it be lightened upon israel in the name of jesus to as many who desire a genuine impartation of wisdom like it came upon joshua from moses i stretch my hands right now wisdom beyond your age wisdom beyond your level of exposure wisdom beyond your level of education receive it right now receive it right now number three there is the spirit of revelation you see just because you open your bible does not mean it is opened no there are two things that must happen for a man to access light from scripture the book must be open and the scroll must be unlocked it is your responsibility to open the book but it is the holy spirit who unlocks the seven seals if the scrolls are not unlocked all that you will read is a compendium of controversial statements but in the name of jesus paul said in ephesians chapter 3 and verse 9 that he was given this grace that by this grace all men might see to make all men see there is a grace that makes men see a grace that can make men see it's a grace that opens your eyes that a scripture you have been reading every day when that grace comes upon you your eyes will see what you have never seen father 
I pray here at ABM 2023. I don't know who has prayed and fasted, desiring the spirit of revelation. But right now, carry that grace in Jesus' name. Carry that grace in Jesus' name. Oh, let scripture be open to you. Carry that grace in Jesus' name. Don't be tired. We're wrapping up. You came to receive. Number four. Hallelujah. I want to impart upon someone what the Bible calls the spirit of faith. Most people have bold faith just for the sake of it. But I tell you sincerely, there are many people who are not walking by faith. They don't know what it means to walk by faith and bet unusual miracles by faith. It takes faith to deliver your portion in destiny. There is a spirit of faith. When the spirit of faith comes upon you, you can believe God for anything. He can send you to the nations and you will say, yes, sir. Do you believe there is such an impartation? Hmm. Through faith, we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. I want to pray for you. For a man of God here who has been limited in ministry because of fear. For a businessman who cannot scale because you are not able to believe God. I pray for you from the depth of my spirit. May the spirit of faith rest upon you. May the spirit of faith rest upon you. By this impartation, you will not beg, you will not borrow. I say it again, you will not beg, you will not borrow. Yet your valley shall be filled with abundance. I impart the spirit of faith upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number five. I want to release a grace upon you that announces you to the nations. Just because you are gifted, just because you have integrity, just because you are sincere, does not mean the nations will look for you. Ladies and gentlemen, believe me, I know what I'm saying with all humility. There is a grace that makes a generation need you. There is a grace that makes a generation desire you. You become Bula and Hepsiba. Human beings are not stupid. They don't get up and make you a model and a reference for their spiritual growth. No. It will take more than just being a sincere person. You can be a man of God full of any kind of revelation. And yet even your neighborhood will reject you. But there is a grace. It's called a hear ye him anointing. A hear ye him anointing. A grace that grants men visibility. This is not just for ministers of the world. Some of you have products today that you can be called from any part of the world. I know a woman, you've heard me say the story. I think I've marketed this woman so much. Her story impacted upon me. I was preaching somewhere in Lagos and then I got to meet this woman and all that she makes is moi moi. And with that moi moi, she's gotten to the White House. Don't tell me it was moi moi that took her there. The grace for visibility. The grace for visibility will cause you to stand before kings. You will stand before nobles. You will stand before, you will ask yourself, what am I doing here? I stand as a privileged steward of this grace. And I stretch my hands to as many in the name of Jesus. I stand upon this altar and I declare for you and your family and your destiny. May this grace rest upon you now. May this grace rest upon you now. May this grace rest upon you now. That right from Abel Kuta, they will call you from all over the globe. They will place a demand upon the grace of God on your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
can i pray two more graces i want to release this grace that is called favor the bible says that we walk as wise not as unwise and the way you show wisdom in life and destiny is to redeem the time because the days are evil and one of the forces that helps men to redeem time is the force of favor if the favor of god is not upon your life ladies and gentlemen i don't care how sincere and how well-meaning you are you will be stagnated in life in ministry and in destiny the absence of favor is the number one reason that has tilted people to the corridors of compromise favor is when god places a grace upon you that causes men to arise and support what you represent the bible says gideon blew the trumpet and 33,000 people responded to that call it's one thing to know how to blow the trumpet but it's another thing for people to leave their homes to come to answer the call can i tell you when this grace rests upon you you will step into prepared blessings men will wake up on their own believe me i know what i'm saying they will make up their mind to sponsor your children till phd they will they will give you houses you did not build father this may not be for everybody but i don't know who must receive this grace i bow my knees to the god of my covenant and i pray in the name of jesus the son of the living god let this grace called favor rest on someone let this grace called favor rest on a man of god let this grace called favor rest on a businessman let this grace called favor rest on a student rest on a family rest on a missionary rest on a politician in the name of jesus by this grace let gates be open on their own let doors be open on their own let opportunities look for you let abundance look for you enjoy by favor the gift of man help us of destiny they arise for your sake in jesus name we pray final impartation final impartation the bible says blessed is the man who the lord causes to approach him there is a grace for encounters this is the last prayer i want to pray for you ladies and gentlemen every great man is made by the encounters that he goes through the god you encounter is the god you reveal to your generation you cannot reveal a theoretical god to your generation when you encounter the healer you will reveal the healer when you encounter the lifter you will reveal the lifter when you encounter a false god you will reveal a god whose status and power you cannot demonstrate i submit to you by the spirit of god one of the ways that god helped me in life and destiny was to grant me access to encounters i am a product of not just many anointings but many encounters he has opened my eyes to see he has opened my eyes to hear i have seen him i have seen angels i have seen the saints of old i have seen demons i have seen spirits they have strengthened my conviction about the reality of the realm of the spirit i have seen truths from scripture by encounter i want to pray for someone because the god you will have to reveal to this generation cannot be a theoretical god gone are the days where we shout and say god can do this god is this and yet our lives cannot demonstrate it but i know whom i believe and i am persuaded that is the assignment of encounters i pray for you lord jesus here on this ground again 
reveal yourself to someone in this place reveal your glory to someone in this place reveal your power to someone in this place father let the mantles of men like late apostle babalola and the prophets that sojourn this land that is still hanging around in the spirit through encounters where is the next prophet oh god where is the next apostle where is the next pastor may that grace rest upon you now hallelujah hallelujah listen i want you to lend me the next two minutes don't walk out of this place tonight not knowing believing and receiving jesus tonight's gathering is not a tribal gathering it's not a traditional gathering where we are coming to watch people display the greatest miracle that can ever happen to any man in this side of god's kingdom is an encounter with jesus not an angel you can see an angel and still go to hell seeing an angel is not a condition for heaven are we together every time god gathers a people like this of the thousands of people here represented and the thousands more following by way of internet there must be someone some persons a gentleman a lady a young man an old man age notwithstanding your pedigree notwithstanding your education notwithstanding your tribal affiliation notwithstanding the king of glory is calling someone right now this is my final assignment before i step down from this place ladies and gentlemen hear me there were people who woke up on earth this morning but right now they are in hell they woke up on earth and by night they are in hell this is not to scare you but it is the truth the bible says when the spirit of truth comes he will reprove the world of sin of righteousness and of judgment in this marvelous meeting god is giving someone an opportunity perhaps you were born from and by a christian family perhaps you've even been a, a, a worker in church maybe a leader in church perhaps you've been around the things of god you may not have been an evil person in terms of practice but it takes more than being a good person to be a child of god you are in this place and you know by the spirit and by the conviction that has come through this word the men in Emma said did our hearts not burn as he spoke to us I want to give you one opportunity and for this group of people I am going to request it possible now that the rain is subsided I want to see them stand here I'm going to count one to five very gently you do not have to enjoy yourself there is someone who came here right from day one day two day three now day four and you are saying apostle i came here because i believe with all my heart that it is time to make it right with jesus you may never have another chance the bible says in the day that you hear his voice harden not your heart ladies and gentlemen coming to jesus is beyond being a christian he calls you into a life even life everlasting he says the thief cometh not but for to steal and kill and to destroy but i am come that ye may have life and that you have it more abundantly i see several people across i know that it's quite a distance i don't know how we are going to do it but in the name of jesus christ you are here and you are saying apostle i need jesus i want you to leave your seat and just stand in front you don't have to come right in front here just in front you know in front of whatever section so that we know that you have made this decision i'm counting one to five run and stand and i pray with you oh come lay down the burdens you have carried 
For in the sanctuary, God. I begin my counting now. One. Let's celebrate them as they come. Leave your seat and come to Jesus. Leave your seat and come to Jesus. Abel Kuta, is this how you celebrate salvation? Come. Run to Jesus. Oh, come lay down the burden. Don't kneel, just stand. The ground is wet. So you just stand. You just stand. Celebrate them, they are coming. Let's encourage them as they come. Come. Win that war of destiny tonight. Let him know you are ready to make it right with Jesus. Don't leave this place without making a genuine declaration of your faith. For in the sanctuary, come. I'm still counting. Let's encourage them, they are still coming. Jesus is still drawing many to himself. Young and old, male and female, come. He's giving you a chance to make it right with him. Four. My last count and I begin to pray. Those coming, rush, rush, come. Jesus something special supernatural about your name Jesus something happens when I mention For everyone who may be following by way of television or internet, this is an opportunity for you to make it right with Jesus. We don't do this as a ritual. This is the only way to be saved from eternal damnation. The Bible says in John 3, 17, For God did not send his Son to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. You know why the gospel is good news? It is good news because hear what Jesus tells you. No matter what you have done, no matter how your life has been, I give you the gift of a new start. That's why it is called good news. It doesn't matter what your father has done. doesn't matter the way you have lived your life. The moment you come to him, the Bible says you will in no wise cast away. He wants to give you the gift of life everlasting. For all of you who are in front, please lift your beautiful hands to Jesus and say this after me as loud as you can and as clear as you can lord jesus, lord jesus. this night, this night I, have I have heard your word i love you, I love you. with all my, heart. all my heart i believe, I believe that you died for my sin right now, right now. i receive jesus, I receive jesus. Into, my into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight until forever i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb amen keep your hands lifted father I stretch my hands over these precious people young and old male female they have come declaring your lordship over their lives and Lord I thank you because you alone are able to draw these many men to yourself you have done so and we give you glory I declare by the authority of Scripture that your sins are hereby forgiven and in the name of Jesus I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God from tonight you go for whatever and backward never Amen. for in jesus mighty name we pray Amen. 